and in prison But I can't promise that I'm far from it I'd still kill a man for a cigarette But with friends like you, who needs homicide? Dolly, you never show me nothing but kindness She would say, I know how sad you get And some days I still get that way But it gets better, it gets better, it gets better Sweetie, it gets better, I promise you And she'd tell me, she'd tell me she'd Your heart is a muscle, the size of your fist Keep on loving, keep on fighting And you have good taste to resolution. Um, oh, 
I am like officially just taking a day off. <laughs> like I'm just homey. <laughs> I'm so sore. My ankle is hurting. My shoulder is hurting from sleeping wrong. I'm just in like, I'm aching. I'm just aching. So today is just nothing. Um, we're going to be playing uh, Zomboid on air though later. Um, I have room for one more. Uh, I'm giving, uh, I've, I've giving two, um, licenses away. Um, one already went to Buddhist. Um, Buddhist is going to be joining me on air. He's going to, we're going to try and get a multiplayer game going. Um, and if you can get on, if you are willing to be on voice chat on air and you can get four gigs downloaded and installed this side of next fucking year, meaning tonight, tonight, quickly, um, let me know and I will gift you a Project Zomboid license and you can get in on the game. Otherwise, it'll just be Buddhist and I. Um, but we will go from there. Um, it's four gigs. Four gigs, if anybody's wondering what the size on that is. Uh, in case you're like, can I download it in time? It's four gigs in size. Um, so, not huge. But it is legitimately one of the most hardcore games I've ever seen. Um, so be prepared for that um zombie apocalypse sur survival third person isometric um yeah it's it's a whole fucking thing <sighs> so china's sh cheating the shit out of the olympics apparently i mean who would have guessed right um not well physically not well today um yeah get rid on that weather um China she cheating the shit out of the Olympics. Like, for real. Um, bunch of shit. I, I just one after another after another. Like, fucking was skating. Fucking just grabbing, like, a Korean skater's knee and fucking yanking them, like, off their feet. Uh, one of them grabbed one of the, like, lane markers and literally just threw it under the skate. And that de that disqualified the, the Korean skater. The fucking Chinese skater straight up grabbed the Korean's knee and yanked him to the fucking ground. And they DQ uh, they DQ'd um, the fucking Korean skater. Like... <laughs> China's just cheating the shit out of everything. <laughs> <laughs> They're feeding their opponents that that go into the like quarantine hotel like substandard food. The fucking all of the judging is stacked in their favor apparently. They're completely like yeah like it, it, there's just one after another after another after another incident. I was like holy shit! I was looking at it today. I'm like, dude, <laughs> they're, they're just cheating, like just straight up. Oh, you know, China, they're not subtle with that sort of shit. They're less subtle than Russia, you know, fucking, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's sincerely, they're like, yeah, they're just cheating. <laughs> it's, it's like, I can't, there's so many incidents. They're just stacking one after another, after another, after another, after another now, apparently. People can't even keep up with how many fucking incidents there have been. It's been amazing. And it doesn't help, they're like literally starving some of their competitors. <laughs> what of the Russian chick, straight up. She's like, I am fucking losing weight. Like she can't keep up. Her fucking diet necessitates a certain caloric intake and they're not feeding her that when she's in the fucking quarantine hotel. They like literally kneecapped a whole fucking set of, it, it honestly has been hilarious. Right, like, yeah, yeah, who gives a uh, fucking, who's commenting? Jesus Christ. Um, all right. Uh, gift has been accepted, cool. There, um, and I can be deleted too. I'm not sure about that. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, cupcake. Um, of oh, Caboose, it probably has already happened. Dude, there's so many. There's uh, so many. Uh, honestly, it has been... <laughs> the, the Korean subreddit is, like, tracking them at this point. It's it's fucking funny as shit. Um, hold on. 
Uh, let's see. Um. All right, hold on. Let me get you a video of one of the incidents. This is great. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Um. All right. All right, so we got China right here. We got Korea right here. Keep an eye on the knee. That DQ'd Korea. That's, that's Korea being disqualified. <laughs> no, uh, South, South, of course. That that's that's a quali disqualification for Korea, not not China for grabbing another competitor. Uh, we get you some of the other ones. Uh, there's another one. He literally uh, here. Let me see if I can't show you without finding the fucking video. Um, okay, here. So you see these little fucking marker things that mark the lanes. One of the Korean skaters literally grabbed that and tossed it under, like, grabs it with their left hand. I mean, mad props. It's a hell of a move. Grabs it with their left hand and slides it under the skate, like, in front of the skate of the Korean skater next to them. Disqualified North Korea. Uh, disqualified South Korea. Sorry, sorry Korea. Um, disqualified uh, South Korean skater. I'm not kidding you. They, they grabbed one of those markers, slid it under the fucking, like in front of the, the Korean skaters skate next to them inside the lane. Disqualified Korea. <laughs> it's, it's literally just so insanely blatant that people are just laughing at it at this point. They're like, yeah, sure. Okay. What's up, Grix? <laughs> uh... Do I have? Yep, here we go. Here's the video. Wait for it. This is great. This, is great. this disqualified the Korean. Um. Okay. All right. So difficult to see. You got a Chinese skater on the inside here. All right. Here's. Here. Okay. Watch. Watch this. It's about to go in his ha uh, in their hand. Grabs it, slides it, gets it, puts it in under their skate. Boom. There goes the Canadian. Disqualified. <laughs> I'm telling you, honestly, like this is this is probably the funniest Olympics I've ever seen. <laughs> this one's worth watching, guys. This one's worth watching, actually. <laughs> the amount of like cheat, blatant cheating, and the way the games are rigged. This one's actually worth watching. You're like, it's it's literally a game of what can China get away with next. <laughs> uh Um. Oh, pff, most of the Olympic broadcasters are just sort of like, we didn't see much. Um, so a lot of the like shots of the, um, a lot of the, sh <laughs> exactly, Caboose. A lot of the shots of some of the ramp, so like some of the uh, event spaces are very particularly shot. Right, they're they're angled. They're the camera positions are selected purposefully, right? And that's that's for a reason, because some of the locations, a lot of the locations, look like this. <laughs> no, it's so. I'm telling you. So this is actually kind of a this is dude I don't watch the Winter Olympics I don't watch the Olympics usually plain and simple though men's swimming or men's diving just saying um 
their cooling stacks for whatever they are, Cupcake. Um. Um, also, um, <laughs> also, uh, Norway, Japan, and Germany were all disqualified from ski jumping because apparently their suits were too wide. Nobody's got a fine, nobody's got a firm answer on this one. It could be that they were trying to get away with something and trying to get a little wingsuit action and they widen their suits, but based on what everybody's seen, it doesn't look that way. It looks like they're within margins. But, <laughs> like, you know, ski jumping, Norway does really well. Um, so they're disqualified. <laughs> it's just, honestly, it's kind of insane watching this one. Uh, fucking the shit they are getting away with. Uh... Yeah, that's I, I. It's been, it has been amusing. The stories coming out of this one. Um, I cry every day. Olympic athletes slam food, COVID nineteen tests, and conditions for Beijing's quarantine ho uh, hotels. The one who cries every day is the Russian, uh, Russian chick. I can't say her last name. I think it starts with a Z. Um, like it's straight up is glazy. Like it is, it's brutally rigged. <laughs> um. Fucking yeah, she do they they're starving her to death. Uh Ow. Um yeah, oh yeah, go point. Everybody's saying that. Everybody's saying that. Except the ones that are like in the premium suites like Sean White when they're like a superstar. Sean White's food looks amazing. He posted the area they put him in. He, his shit's great. Eh. I know, right, Caboose? <laughs> uh, yeah, and China's, um, China is, um, he's retiring. Um, China is like winning events. Nobody expects him to win. Like, it's like that. It's like that. Like, China's winning events. You're like, they don't win that event. Like, ever. Yeah, well, they won it this time. <laughs> Fun. Oh, it's, it's, it, you know. Here, here's some of the South Korean announcers. You were, you were wondering um, how South Korea is handling it. Not well. <laughs> Unlike the American announcers who are more beholden to uh, like corporate interests, the South Koreans are like, fuck that! What the fuck is this shit? That's fucking cheating! <laughs> the Koreans are invested. We're we're not, yeah, we're not that invested. <laughs> We're just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, uh, let's see. Anyway, that's that's enough about that worthless shit. Um, you know what? Pro at this rate, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I would not doubt it, dude. They've been, they've been. It's been a thing. Uh, <laughs> they've been cheating like a mofo. <laughs> oh, that fucking not surprising. Um, here's here's a uh, here's a fun one. Um, here's a fun one. So the Canadian women's hockey team won, kicked the shit out of Russia, uh, six to one. Six to one. They fucking just. That's dude. Hockey isn't a high scoring game. It's like soccer or football, right? It's not, not a high scoring game. Six to one is a fucking blowout. 
Um, Canadian women's hockey kicked the absolute shit out of the Russian team while wearing N95 masks under their helmets and ma uh, and face masks already. Um, they straight up skated the entire fucking match with N95s on to boot. Right? And of course, people are pointing out, like, you know, oh, these fucking mask freedom idiots, like, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, straight up fucking mad big, big dick energy. Not only are we gonna kick the shit out of you, we're gonna kick the shit out of you with an N95 mask on my face the entire time. <laughs> So, for anybody who ever complains about a mask again, I'm just saying the Canadian women's hockey team played an Olympic match in which they dominated the Russian team, who are no slouches, <laughs> with masks on the entire fucking time. So, credit where credit's due. Um, <sighs> so, you want to do the Doomer shit now? Exhausted today. Oh, see if we can speed run this because I kind of want to get to Project Zomboid. I kind of want to play games. Uh, what do what the Canadian truckers think about it? Um, well, we'll see because they're gonna get kicked out of that fucking town soon. Um, my housey. All right. So, Ford and GM, according to their earnings uh, their earnings projections, um, it is it is a way of life for them for certain. Um, Ford and GM, according to their earnings projections, aim to generate at least two uh, sorry, at least twenty billion dollars each in annual revenue from software services by twenty thirty. What do they mean by software services? Remember the other day when I told you Tesla was locking people out of using the uh, seat adjustment motors because it would burn the motors out because they cheaped out on motors, and that I promised you in a couple of like, just wait a couple of months, and that's going to be like premium microtransaction subscription unlock shit that they mean that like the toyota key key do, uh dongle fucking key fob uh remote start unlock shit that's what that's about it's that's that's the software services that they're talking about um they're also talking about like the heating system in your seat being extra a service <clears throat> so you pay like you know you'll pay like $19.99 a month for the, the plus um, package. And then, you know, $39.99 for the plus plus package. And the, they, you know, the ultra plus package. And, you know, it'll it, the plus package will contain things like, you know, maybe maybe heat, uh, heated seats and air conditioning. And then, you know, the, the, the ultra plus will have remote start. And all of this already right in the Cars feature set that you paid for. But it will be backwards uh, subscription. Like it, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, they're both projecting twenty billion dollars of uh, annual revenue from that kind of shit alone. Yeah. So Ford and GM both want in on it. There's money on the table, and the greedy capitalist fucks want it. So look forward to that. Um. Good news on the on the sort of like doom front, <laughs> but capitalism breeds innovation. Um, the the Chinese censorship thing with Fight Club, where they just like cut to black and say, and the, the police uh, busted them and stopped the the attack. Right? Um, Ten Cent reversed the uh, the the censorship. We, it basically, apparently, there was an actual backlash. Like Chinese customers for the Ten Cent video streaming service were like actually pissed. Surprising, surprising, but they rev they rolled it back, and one instance of China undoing censorship. <clears throat> um, now, my American brothers and sisters and NB friends, here you go. Do you want to see what 2.5 euro to, okay. Do you want to see what um, $2.86 in a public Italian high school gets you for lunch. Are you ready? 
for all of the Americans that went to public education, strap the fuck in. This is what $2.86 lunch at a public high school paid with no assistance. That is a lamb shank, if I'm not mistaken. That is roast potatoes, some homemade horseradish sauce, a nice uh, gravy slash au jus, uh, a handmade, homemade uh, uh, piece of bread, little little bread, some pastas, uh, pasta and bean salad, and some Brussels sprouts, and some fresh juice. This is what $2.86 for a lunch at a public school <clears throat> will get you unassisted which by the way most most people can qualify for assistance so you could get it for free so <clears throat> you know just so you know yeah, yeah I, I noticed as well cricks that those weren't french fries yeah that's that's i too noticed there was a distinct lack of cheap ranch dressing and um shitty limp french fries yeah i don't know what that's about i thought it was a school lunch right hmm. and like like glazy pointed out there's no pizza there's no mountain dew i mean there's where are the cheetos yeah You are a slave. They give you shit. Just know it. Um, here's my, here's a, here's a fun one out of Canada. So, This one's still um, developing. <clears throat> so, the trucker convoy stopped by Ottawa, and well, a cup, a couple of fucking people from the trucker convoy stopped by an apartment complex in Ottawa, and well. They tried to start a fire in apartment complex. Now, that's bad enough, right? A couple of these assholes rolled up and tried to light an apartment complex on fire. Not a good look. Not a good look, I agree. That's probably something you shouldn't be doing. It's kind of a dick move. So, how do you make that worse? Well... I could think of a few ways. You know, you could you possibly throw shit at anybody who tries to leave the building. Like, you could shit in your own fucking mitted glove and smash it in some old lady's face. Or you could do what they tried to do. <clears throat> Tape the door handles so that no one could get in or out. They brought a full package of fire starter bricks into the building's lobby. They taped the door handles so that no one could get in or out. And then they lit the entire package of fire starter bricks on fire, attempting to burn the building. Now, say what you will about any or in all of the private business damage that was conducted or occurred during BLM. Nobody tried to light an apartment building on fire while making sure the residents could not leave the apartment building. That is a tear unto itself. And given the nature of why they're in town in the first place is an insane domestic terrorism charge. Yeah, like that's that's attempted mass murder. <laughs> that's that's what that is. That's attempted mass murder. You, you attempted to restrict egress points 
Um, yes, Wither, I'm sure, exactly. That was They were probably Antifa. Yeah, those they, they were Antifa. Yeah. Yeah, they, they attempted to restrict egress points while starting a fire at the base of, a, uh, of an apartment complex. So that's what the truckers are up to in Canada now. They're, they're lighting apartment complexes on fire while trying to make sure that everybody dies to get people on their side, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I think that's the... <clears throat> Um, so let me shout this guy out. Brian, Do uh, Brian Bolden, officer, Brian Bolden, for those that, you know, understand the pig is a pig is a pig is a pig. Um, and that there are no good cops, right? Let me explain to you why officer Brian Bolden is one of the good ones. Officer Brian Bolden alerted reporters last month to the arrest of his police department's public information officer, the spoke uh, the spokesperson's second DUI case in five years. Bolden, a prison transport officer for a suburban Atlanta department. Um, well, <clears throat> the police chief personally sent a uh, supervisor to Bolden's house to let him know that the chief specifically placed him on paid administrative leave and he is now under an internal uh, internal investigations review. Um, he they are charging him with abuse of power, uh, a litany of department rule breaking, policies against public criticism, and invasion of privacy, and a few other things. Um, he specifically says they are going to fire me. This is what they wanted to do all along. And to be honest with you, I'm relieved. Um, every day I was going to work wondering how they were going to try to get me. And now at least I know, and it's over. If you are wondering what the color of, um, soon to be civilian Brian Bolden skin is, you already know. You can answer that for yourself. So there you go. Um, uh, Exactly. That's what happens to the good ones. The good cops, they get yeeted. If not a bullet to the back of the fucking dome. Which has happened. I'm not fucking talking out of my ass on that one. That's not hyperbole. That's a real thing. Um... Minneapolis, Amir, the latest uh, no-knock warrant. By the way, okay, everybody's had to have seen the 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 uh, the Amir headlines in Minneapolis, and they did another no-knock warrant, and it's the next, fu uh, you know, it's the next fucking one, and they fucking charge in and they shoot somebody and all those sorts of things, right? It's made headlines. Most of you have heard about it if you haven't heard me talk about it directly, right? You notice nobody mentioned the Las Vegas one? Remember the thing that brought me on air that day, like what, two weeks ago, where I was just fucking livid because we had gotten the footage and they had shot the dude, said the dude shot uh, fucking 21, 22 times or some shit like that. Um, and they just fucking put the dude on blast. Notice how that one doesn't make national headlines? When I tell you guys Vegas operates in a different realm, from the rest of you, I'm not fucking around. We really do. Like, for all the power that New York and Chicago and LA may bring to bear, I'm not kidding you. Vegas makes it look small. When it comes to covering our own problems up, homie, you have no idea how deep we roll. Like, it's just that simple. Ain't nobody gonna be talking about the Vegas no-knock warrant shooting. Shut the fuck up. But go talk about Minnesota. <laughs> Let's go talk about that Minneapolis one. Mm -mm. We don't do that here. Yeah, it is It is legit. Like, it, it's astounding. Like, ours is even worse. It's even worse. It's the same conditions. Weren't going after that guy. Wrong apartment entirely. Fucking, like, bust in. Dude's fucking legally armed. They put him on blast. They absolutely unload into him.
Not fucking worried. Welcome to Vegas, baby. People have no idea how, how insane this place is. Um, <clears throat> so, while we're on that, two white men have been arrested. Wow. For shooting at a black FedEx driver's. Cops? Well, they do nothing. Uh, Brookhaven, Mississippi. Um, the father and son turned themselves in on February 1st. They're out on bail. <clears throat> um, but, yeah. Uh, the cops, well, they didn't. Um, <laughs> they didn't do much. Um, and the attorneys are saying that it is literally a copycat duo of the Ahmed Arbery case. They saw a man, they saw a black man, they hauled off, shot at him multiple times. They tried to entrap him. They, they went hunting. They went hunting. They worked concertedly to chase him and entrap him and try and kill him. They shot several times. <clears throat> and uh, the cops took this story about as seriously as you would expect them to in Mississippi. Until other higher ups took notice. So yeah. Um, I, you know, here's your fair warning. This one's going to be kind of rough. Um, <clears throat> oh. The AP obtained internal Federal Bureau of uh, Prison documents, statements, and recordings from inmates, interviewed current and former prison employees and inmates, uh, and current and former inmates, and then reviewed thousands of pages of court records from c criminal and civil cases involving the Dublin, California prison. It is the Federal Correctional Institute in Dublin, California. There was a rape club. It was it was it was a rape club. It was the it was a rape club. 422 complaints in 1 year of sexual assault by staff on prisoners. The Pr Bureau of Prisons said that it substantiated 4 of those complaints. Repeated rapings, mockery by the staff, fucking um, staff, including the prison warden, by the way, up to and including, right? Prison, the warden, recycling technicians, public safety administrators. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? The prison chaplain. The prison chaplain has already pled out. He pled to charges that he put his penis on an inmate's genitals, mouth, hand, and masturbated in front of them. Multiple years. <clears throat> uh, also, he pled that he lied to investigators when questioning about the abuse. There was literally just club rape. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> in one instance, a female inmate said a prison work supervisor <clears throat> taunted her and the other women by commenting, let the games begin when assigned to work with, with them when she accused her, uh, w uh, with a man she accused of rape. Another worker claimed he wanted to get inmates pregnant intentionally. One inmate reported as uh, sexual assault. She said she was told nothing would be done about her complaint because he said she said. Oh, non-binary. It's, it's you, well, you missed a whole bunch. Uh, federal prison, club rape. 422 incidents in one year. So welcome, welcome to the party. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Maintenance foreman as well, repeated raping of one prisoner. Um, other workers facilitated, held her down, and mocked uh, for the abuse. Uh, mocked her for the abuse. Um, when one uh, one of the victims, um, after she was raped, um, they sent her to solitary confinement for three months, and then transferred her to another federal prison in Alabama. 
so that she couldn't really report what was going on. Right? We'll just slide her into solitary and then slide her right out of this prison. <sighs> so, you know, that. I warned you. I warned you. Um, let's see, what else? Ah, yes. The Earn IT bill is back. Senator Richard Blumenthal and Lindsey Graham, <clears throat> both of which I hope, like, end up impaled on a double-headed dildo together and wind up in an ER with sepsis. Um, I'm sure they'll survive. They have the best of health care. They have reintroduced the Earn IT Act. Well, for those of you that don't remember the Earn IT Act, it was dropped originally because it faced overwhelming opposition because the Earn IT Act is a methodology for implementing massive new um, surveillance system run by private companies that would literally roll back privacy and security features in technology around the world. Um, everything that is hosted, backups, websites, cloud photos, and more, it would ensure that it could be scanned. It would require backdoors in every single set of encryptions. It would undermine all end-to-end -end encryption. Any end-to-end -end encryption messaging systems would be legally required to put build a government um, backdoor key into their system. Um, so yes, and it would it would require that government mandated software such as the photo DNA system that was built by Microsoft be implemented and tied directly to all law enforcement databases. So essentially imagine that all online content is required to go through the government service of being scanned for inappropriate keywords, photos, etc. <clears throat> and then automatically correlated and uploaded to law enforcement databases so that they can know exactly what you are saying with any of your people in any point in time. And it's just there for access. This is the Earn IT Bill. So start yelling about it. Trust me. Earn. E-A-R-N. So, I'd give a shit about that one. I'd give a shit about that one. Yeah, um, Kvass, how about we don't give in? What's up, Lefty? Um, how about we don't give in to the what are we going to do when it's implemented and we do what we did the last time and scream our bloody fucking heads off? Because undermining cryptography is a national security issue. Undermining end-to-end -end encryption is stupid and does nothing but, here's your talking points. It does nothing but undermine encryption and open us up to further incursions by Chinese nationalists, Russian nationalists, and help Iranian na uh, nationalists as well, right? This is your talking point. Depending on who you're talking to, if, they, if they're if they fucking MAGA heads and they like Russia, go with China or Iran. Iran and Chinese state hackers. 
we are going to be open to them. And this is the government purposefully opening us up to big business. It is opening us to the likes of, uh, of Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates so that they can read our messages. It's so that Iran can hack our systems. Go for it. Go for it. Do like bad faith ag uh, uh, argumentation. It doesn't matter. What needs to happen is you just need to scare the ever loving fuck out of every non technically minded person about this bill. That's all. This bill needs to be dead on arrival. So there you go. Oh, it would increase all sorts of stuff. Non binary. It would increase all sorts of stuff. Uh. Oh, uh, oh, and we didn't mention, didn't mention Minneapolis PD, the Amir no knock shooting incident, <clears throat> Minneapolis police department, <laughs> yeah, ha, ha. nonsense, <laughs> um, described Amir as a suspect the victim of the no knock warrant. They describe, they continually describe him as a suspect. Uh, they appointed a previously fired cop with records of corruption to oversee the training of cops, uh, in the light, in light of this newest incident. So, you know, Minneapolis PD is, um, bent on make ensuring that this never happens again. Um, awfully suspicious of him to turn up dead. You are right. You're right. That's that's super suspicious. I mean, yeah, he assaulted that bullet. That bullet is deformed now that it went into him. Those bullets are deformed now that they went into him. That's that is that is assault on an officer. Are bullets officers now? Bullets are officers, right? Yeah, it feels like they're officers. Um, it's assault on an officer, I'm sure. Defacing government property. There you go. What's up, Fina? <laughs> Thanks, Fina. Um, no, no, non-binary. Who'd you try? You tried to get PIA? No, no. Uh, Amir. Um, a fucking. Um, uh, a, a individual, uh, um, Amir Locke. Um, he's just another, he's just another black dude that got shot. I had to put it that way, but right. Like that's, he's just another black dude that the cops shot. They busted into his house. No knock warrant, wrong house, wrong dude. And he was armed because we have the second amendment. And so they put him down. Yeah. America. I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's kind of is, I think it's kind of appropriate that we start describing it in such like blase terminology, right? Like it's not like the system's going to act like it's a travesty, right? It's, it's, it's fucking, yeah. Like it's just another black dude. They fucking put down like he was a rabid dog. They do it all the time. It's like all the time. Why, why should I be outraged? Nobody else seems to be outraged. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, nobody seems to give a shit. Like, I mean, they literally put a cop with like, rec like a corruption record who was fired for corruption in charge of training the cops after this incident. Right? Like, clearly, clearly, I mean, yeah. Yeah, just another day in the USA. Fucking, yeah, my whole life too, Aspen. My whole life. Oh. Uh. <laughs> exactly nonsense. Oh. 
Oh, and speaking of douchebags, um, you know, speaking of turds that need flushed. Yeah, sounds right, right, ask. Um, speaking of uh, turds that need flushing, Peter Thiel. Um, oh. Oh, you don't know who Peter Thiel is, boss. Um, Peter Thiel is founder of PayPal. He is founder of Palantir Technologies, which I'm not going to get into, but Palantir is a military industrial contractor. Um, he also was the first outside investor in Facebook. Um, Peter Thiel is a horrible, horrible human being. Um... There is a story that was released by a reporter years ago now. Um, he got to attend a meeting with some wealthy people over a weekend. And the discussion came up of what they would do post-collapse. I'm not kidding you. This is, this is a, a sourceable thing. Like, this is... This reporter... Theo will never be able, you'll never be able to confirm this. You'll never be able to confirm this. This is this could be a hundred percent fabricated. This could be a hundred percent apocryphal. It's not, and you know it. This reporter was a, a, was a, had an opportunity to attend a meeting of wealthy individuals, not rich, wealthy. One weekend. And a, the topic of what they would do post-collapse came up because Thiel has a fucking bunker. Thiel has like a missile silo bunker he could run off to. It's He's one of those dudes. He's insured. He's going to survive. But the question came up as to what you would do post-collapse because people, right? You need people. You need people to do shit. So one of the people at the meeting suggested that maybe they should push automation. Maybe they should really push like high technology automation. Thiel, on the other hand, came up with the idea of having a workers segment to the, um, to the like apocalypse bunk out facility in which they were required to gain entrance. They were required to wear quote unquote disciplinary collars that would otherwise um, create very uncomfortable situations for anyone who was deemed to not be following orders. Um, others, others suggested holding their loved ones hostage. Some of them suggested that, like, well, if we have their wives and their kids and that sort of thing, we can we can coerce them that way. But Thiel Thiel's idea was was a uh, uh, like a yeah was a quote unquote disciplinary caller. Well, Peter Thiel has left the Meta board. Um. He, he's leaving Facebook because he's been on he's been on the Facebook board of directors for a very long time. Like I said, he was the original outside investor. He made so much money off of Facebook. Um, he's leaving. Um, yeah, he's German American. Um, he's leaving the Facebook board, the Meta board, the Facebook. He's leaving the Facebook board of directors to pursue. <sighs> Trump's political agenda. He plans to increase his political support for former President Donald Trump's agenda during the 2022 election and doesn't want his political activities to be a distraction for Facebook, according to a person close to Thiel. His focus will be on backing Blake Masters, J.D. Vance, and any other politician who it, who help uh, who promises to advance the Trump agenda Thiel if you don't know worked on behalf of Trump in 2016 by donating untold amounts of money 
speaking on his behalf at the Republican National Convention. And when Trump became president, Thiel worked on his transition team while nominating colleagues to fill various government positions, including former Thiel Capital Chief of Staff Michael Kratzios, uh, uh, who served as Chief Technology Officer at the White House until last year. Um, Thiel has continued to vocally and financially support Trump um, while meeting with members of the Republican Party and members of the far right up to in current. So there you go. There's a little background on who Peter Thiel is and what you can expect from the likes of him. Peter Thiel would unironically lock you in a, a, a windowless bunker with an explosive collar around your neck. And if you didn't do what he said, he'd pop your fucking dome. So there you go. Anyway, ah, uh, mm, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this guy. Um, Saturday is my fucking massage. So I have a full fucking week of this shit. Alright. Um. Trying to find more on this one. I have a headline, but I don't. Yeah, we won't talk about that one. Um, oh, uh, we had an F-35C uh, ramp strike. Nah, don't worry about it, no matter. Um, this is a relatively rare occurrence. Um... But we had a ramp strike on the Carl Vinson, I think, um, over the weekend. No, um, end of January. Now, a couple of things that's mildly concerning. Yeah, Exxon. Why do I have this footage? This is an OPSEC breach. Somebody literally just cell phone recorded a fucking on deck security cam and then uploaded it. Like who's fucking getting fired? Like, holy shit, man. Sure we do. We have a whole bunch of hypersonic shit. I can even give you, like everybody has one. Like, do you not know this, Monsieur? Everybody has one. China's got, uh, Russia's got one. China has the DFCF. 
we've got one like yeah like everybody's everybody's been working on that for ages um it's usually a dual mode ramjet Yeah, like, I mean, Raytheon's fucking, like, Raytheon will have, fuck it. We're literally advertising it, homie. We're literally advertising it. Our military contractors are advertising it. Do you realize we are the world's largest defense contractor? The We produce the most arms for the world. We make trillions of dollars doing this. Of course America is working in hypersonic technology. <laughs> We've been working on it longer than Russia and China. The only reason China has any probably because they stole half of our plans. Like, how, how dumb can you be? Not as China or Russia. Actually, you know what? Prove it to me. Prove it to me. Prove it. Prove to me the U.S. military does not have a operational hypersonic weapon. Prove to me Russia and China do. Come on. Where's your source? Got anything? Or is it just you like to lick the ass of China and Russia? Come on. Are you one of the, the, the like typical America so bad, everybody good? Sort of situations. Uh, I'm thinking tanky. Yeah. <laughs> You're a fool if you think this. Like, why wouldn't we have it? That's it? That's all you got? Cool. You literally know nothing. Got it. Um, then I'm done interacting you, uh, interacting with you. Put up or shut up. Um, yo, oh, Jesus Christ. Did anybody see that fucking pro beatboxer? This dude was so impressive. I was, I was, I saw this dude's video over the weekend. I was like, holy fucking Christ. If you ever wanted to know what 15 years of pro beatboxing sounds like. This is, this is, this is so fucking, it's so impressive. Honestly. If you ever wanted to know what 15 years of pro beatboxing sounds like, here it is. Day one. Yeah, let me see if I, oh, oh, oh. Week one. Hold on. I'll, I'll drive this up for you guys. One. Okay. Here it is. Day one. Week one. Month one. One year. Five years. Ten years. Fifteen years. How? How? 
That 15 year mark is fucking insane. Fifteen years, Honestly, honestly, apparently he is a professional beatboxer, by the way, like legitimately te- 15 years of professional beatboxing. Um, but yeah, like. I was, I was kind of along for the ride fucking while, well, you know, I was like, oh, okay, some of this is good. And then he hits that like 10 year mark and I'm like, oh, this is kind of insane. And then he hits that 15. I'm like, God damn, homie, how are you doing that? Um... Basically, basically some sense. Holy shit. Um, Y'all want to see some fucked up shit? Um, What you got? (laughs) No, I didn't. Uh, Air Force must pay more than 230 million in damages to survivors and victims of 2017 ter- Texas church massacre for failing to flag a conviction that might have kept the gunman from a gunman from legally buying a weapon used in the shooting. Uh, originally asked 418, Justice Department pros proposed 31.8. They got 230. How many? Uh, 80 claimants. Um, the district judge ruled the Air Force was 60% liable. Interesting. Um, well, I, I say it's fucked up because it's sort of, this video is kind of fucked up because it demonstrates the, like, it demonstrates the power dynamic of men and women in American society right now a little too uncomfortably. It's a little it, like, I look, I don't want to come off like men's rights USA on this shit. Right. But watch this video and see if you can't like, you're going to see right away. This is fucked up. Okay, she is yelling. She is saying, You're going to die. She is attempting to choke him out. She is repeatedly saying, You are going to die. He has his hands in the air. Hey, do you have the cops on the way? Ask them. No, don't, don't. Call the cops. I don't. Did you catch that? This is where it gets. He straight up says, I just don't want to put my hands on her. I just don't want to put my hands on her. Please stop. Please stop. 
I have you done nothing. I have done nothing to deserve this. You were asleep the Crap. entire car ride and woke up and started screaming and you punching me. Here's where I mean it's uncomfortable. Notice his line of dialogue. He already knows he would be assumed to be the assaulter in this situation. He is attempting to defend himself legally and socially while he is being assaulted. She is choking him. She will scratch him and she will bite him to the point of bleeding in this video. During this entire exchange, he will be sitting there saying, I, did, I don't want to touch her. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Because he knows he is to be assumed the de facto aggressor in this situation. And that's really concerning. That's, this, is, this is where like some of these assholes have points and then they do some shit like Male Rights USA and you're like, there goes the point. Right? Like this dude is, should legitimately be in fear of his life in this moment, right? And he's more afraid of the social and legal ramifications of him being perceived as the initiator of this aggression than he is protecting his own life. Me personally, I'd have fucking put one in her. Dude, no, 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 please, stop. I didn't have to. Stop, Janet, let her go. Stop, stop. Let her go. Stop fighting him. Stop. Stop. You got the cops, are they got the cops on the way? Just, just leave, yeah. just leave, it's, no, fine. No. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I, I don't want, I, 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 I can't get him out. I know, ma'am, stop biting him. I'm sorry. He's apologizing, he's apologizing. We need the cops here like now. Lock your door. Fire. She's batshit insane. Listen to her. Hey, lean against that door, please. please? I just don't want to nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Talk to him. All right, well, you can sit there and chill out for a second. You need to talk to him. Okay, well, sit there and chill out for a second. No, come on. My kid, my daughter. Don't touch me. Don't. Don't touch me. I'm not no, gonna no, no. touch you. She's gonna up my car. Oh, God, you not. Go ahead, let the cop back up. Hang on the door. She's dead. Yeah. Actually, I don't know where Glazy. Um, um either way. Either way, even if she is, even if she's got a fucking mental illness, even if she's a fucking heroin addict as a result of overprescription of opioids by her doctor due to Sackler family manipulations, none of this justifies assaulting another human being. None of this justifies aggravated battery. None of this justifies fucking ripping a dude's neck open with your teeth. Right? Like... And the entire fucking time, this dude's only reaction is, I didn't do anything, I didn't touch her, I just want it, I just want, I just don't get her, ow, 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 it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. That's his entire fucking, he has no concern for his physical being. He's more concerned about the system 
coming down on him because chick in the back seat can say anything she fucking wants and it may fly. There's been too many incidents of that. That's a fucking nightmare. That yeah, that's nightmare fuel. Like, dude, that that's a little bothersome, right? Like that we've arrived a position in our society where like these kinds of shit, this shit happens. Like, are you kidding me? I'd have fucking popped her. I'd have dropped that bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? She's biting my neck with intent to tear at me. Okay? She's attempting to choke me to death. Bitch is dead. That is a clear cut case for self defense. Simple as that. One in the chamber. Safety up, a safety off, pop. I'm going to be deaf in this ear, but at least I'm going to survive. That's as clear a, case, cut, a clear cut case for self defense as you can get. And he's terrified at what society might think instead of fearing for his life while he's being choked to death. Holy fuck, man. That's a little troublesome. I I saw a video and I was like, dude, this is... This is fucked. This is fucked. No one should ever feel that way. Man, woman, envy. I don't care who you are. That kind of power dynamic, sh it, that kind of power imbalance should not exist in society. Equality doesn't mean men get to do that to women. It doesn't mean women get to do that to men. Equality means if you fuck around, you find out. That man's life was in danger. And yet he felt so disempowered that he didn't do anything to, like, defend himself. Not really. That. Yeah. I. I... There'd be the back of my car would need a fucking crime scene cleanup. This isn't some fucking Internet badass. I'm a very badass shit. This is just the realities of self-defense. If you start choking me out from behind and you bite on my fucking neck near my carotid artery, I'm putting a bullet in your brain. That's just clear self-defense. That's, it's that simple. Like that is you, my life is now in danger because of you and I'm in an enclosed space and you've got me trapped to my seat. You're done. You're fucking done. That's a clear instance. Like that that's that's as legal as legal gets for self-defense. Yeah, that that I came across that video over the weekend. I was like, holy shit, man. Anyway, oh, you see, we're running out of teachers. Like straight up, we're running out of teachers. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I could fix her. Says nonsense. Uh, apparently, she's a uh, apparently she's a nurse. Yeah, apparently she's a nurse. Um, so one more nurse down. Hmm. Many times. Um... <laughs> Hey, Viva. Mosh and Viva. The German contingent. Um, yeah. So, I think that's all the headlines I really wanted to cover. 
That's an hour and a half of fucking news and shit like that. Oh, Rev, I'd have fucking booked her on a 5150 instantly. Dude, that's 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 as clear a case for a 5150 as there ever has been. Right? Like, for those of you who don't know what a 5150 is, a 5150 is uh, involuntary psych hold. That's that's what a 5150 is. Uh, yeah, she 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 needs to she needs to be evaluated. Right with her? It's a little disturbing. It's 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 more than a little distur disturbing to be like, holy shit, is that where we are? This dude's getting like his throat fucking ripped out like like a fucking zombie victim. And he's getting choked out in his own fucking car. And his only concern is don't blame me. Homie. <laughs> Done. Ike boss. Yeah, like that, that would not play. Not in, not in my household, at least. Not in my upbringing. Holy shit. <laughs> the only thing I'd be concerned about is trying to get a hand up to my ear at the same time. Because <laughs> I don't want to blow my fucking eardrum out when I drop around next to my head. Fucking, yeah. Like, w <laughs> this was self defense stand your ground laws were designed for. Not shooting some random black kid that looks at your yaw uh, your yard incorrectly. It was designed for crazy bitches who start to like bite your throat out and shit from behind. Oh, that makes sense, Axel. Just saw a headline about the Supreme Court overturning a lower court ruling so that a biased Alabama redistricting may re remain in place. So hypocritical because some of the same judges ruled in Citizens United versus FEC that the Supreme Court is not the place to sell those matters. Imagine that, Axel. <laughs> I wonder what her bedside manner is like. Oh, probably amazing nonsense. Probably amazing. You know what? If we were going to give the cre a benefit of the doubt, um... Psychotic break due to stress and substance abuse, right? Benefit of the doubt. She develops a substance abuse pro problem to cope with the stress and anxiety of the job, um, and then, she, um, and then COVID hits, and that nightmare and a half occurs, and then that stress compo uh, compounds the already existing stress of the job, and she fucking breaks. Right? There could be other extenuating for, uh, um, uh, circumstances as well beyond that. Um, but, yeah, exactly, Caboose. I mean, cool motive, but still assault, right? It, not even assault, aggravated battery. It's aggravated battery. Um, bare minimum. Bare minimum aggravated battery. Um, so, yeah, I'd, dude, I'd have put her down. I'd have put her down. Bare minimum, I'd have cut her up. Because I carry a fucking knife with me everywhere I go, no matter what. Right? Like, I'd have fucking slashed those arms. Right? Probably into the eye, too. Like, I would... You know, one of these sort of situations. Yeah. Bare minimum. She'd have been cut up. Fucking, I mean... A Gerber and a 9 mil. Um, depends which, which one. Favorite's a 226, but it's a little big for, yeah, for an EDC. So I tend not to carry the, the SIG. But I've got a wide, I've got a wide selection. But yeah, for EDC, I prefer 9 mil. Yeah, except Glazy Pepper Spray gets me pepper sprayed too. I'm not looking to spray myself. And that bitch is right there. That's going to get me too. Bitch, take a fucking knife to the face. <laughs> uh, 
Just because you decide to have your psychotic break today doesn't mean I need to be pepper sprayed. <laughs> What's up, Caleb? Um, yeah, Caboose, that's a good, that's a good decision. It, it, the bare minimum, that's a good decision. I'd also carry a blade. I carry a blade no matter what. You never know. Um, good man. Useless. Tasers are fucking useless. Um, especially against somebody who's either uh, chemically enhanced or is trained. Um, I have seen... Um, See if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Here you go. Watch. He got him. Nothing. He just yanked him out. We're going to go for round two. Watch. This time we're going to go for the chest rather than the leg. Chest. Nothing. Just swept him off. I've seen, uh, I've seen completely sober dudes do that as well. Um, I have borne witness myself to a former uh, SEAL um, take two taser, taser prongs to the chest and take the full voltage, and he just kind of, <clears throat> yeah, there's just a second of hesitation in him, and then he managed to just yank them out. I, I do not consider tasers an effective weapon against, like, extreme cases. If somebody is trained and yoked, or if somebody is on a pharmacological enhancer, Tasers are functionally ineffective. So you got PCP, bath salts, meth, tasers are out. If you got somebody who's got training, tasers are out. Um, yeah, I, I, I just consider them to be a functionally not great item. If you've got close contact, you're already fucked. Yeah, the yeah, the direct contact one gets you punched in the face. The direct contact one um doesn't actually Okay, so have you ever have any of you ever been shocked with one of these things? Cuz I have. We we me and my buddies as teenagers, we fucking we were like, let's do this. Let's fucking see this shit, right? How does it how does it work? Um so, yeah, like the the contact electrodes will freeze the muscle temporarily and you may drop temporarily depending on what portion of the body you you get but the instant it comes uncontacted you regain muscle control all you're doing is using a stronger electrical signal to override the electrical signals from the brain you're interrupting the pathway so all you're doing is losing control of a muscle group or a couple of muscle groups. And then the instant that comes unstuck from that person, they have control back. It doesn't knock them out. It doesn't put them on the ground for any extended period of time. They're back up just like that. Pepper spray is superior to tasers. It's it, more likely to get you. But pepper spray, like a high concentration pepper spray, way better than tasers. You will, you can functionally blind someone for 15, 20 minutes with, with pepper, with a high test pepper spray with a fucking, uh, the bear mace kvass, bear mace is not a guarantee. In fact, bear mace is sometimes weaker than other pepper sprays. The reason being bears have a much higher sensitivity so they can actually dial the concentration down. People that carry bear mace sincerely you should you're better off carrying like high test self-defense pepper sprays bear mace more often than not is actually weaker than the normal de self-defense pepper sprays yeah they just put out a lot more they tend to be more uh they tend to be a, a larger volume and they tend to spray further like 15 25 feet that sort of thing 
Um, so yeah. A friend of mine in the military got pepper spray taser training and he said pepper spray is way worse than taser. Oh, 100%. 100%. Everybody who goes through it, straight up, there's no way around that. You you come out of that immediately. You're like, oh, that is way worse. Dude, I've had a little bit of capsaicin in my eye from fucking chopping peppers before. Way worse than when I got fucking shocked. Way worse. Like, that shit, that shit fucks you up. The fucking tasing, you're just like, and then it's over. You have to call it dog repellent for legal reasons. Yeah, I, I, harms that. Like, don't carry bear maze, carry self-defense pepper spray. Um, uh, tasers are fucking functionally useless. You're just going to piss off your attacker even more if you use one of those things. Um, spicy beats zappy. Yes, spicy beats zappy. Um, See, tech support, you've said this before. No, uh, no, no. <laughs> I give you a hit of acid to mace you too. Um, no, no, we didn't do that. Um, um, so, yeah. <laughs> Best remedy for pepper spray? Um, milk and thyme. And if you wear contacts, your contacts are fucked. It's, it's milk and thyme. Yeah, that's exactly, Kubus. That's literally all you're doing. With a taser or any sort of electrical shock device for self-defense, functionally what you're doing is overriding the electrical signal with a stronger electrical signal that is just a current, that is a, a, a static current. So it's causing the muscle to either, uh, like, go into a concentric uh, contraction, right? And so, um, and so you just lock. You just lock. But the instant you cut that voltage, they regain just like that just like that um yogurt is good too um but yeah um but yeah it's 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 milk um and thyme that's about all you can do with pepper spray is milk and thyme you can you can literally take a gallon of milk and just like hold your eyes open and douse your face um but um if you want here is here is uh, here is a compromise um, uh, uh, burn it HD. Um, yeah, let's go here. God damn it. All right. Um, let me close this window really quickly. Thank you. There we go. Um, Remind me not to get shot with one of those, will you? All right. Yeah. Here's a Berna HD. And why would you want one? For places you can't carry a real firearm, this might be legal and it might help save your, your life. This is called the Berna HD. And it comes in a little bit of half. Just this is. And you can get an inert pellet. And I read, but it's essentially pretty effective. Try it depends where you are. In Europe, this would be a gun. In a lot of places in the U.S., this doesn't qualify as a firearm. We're starting over today. But the point is... Come on. ...inside this underneath the barrel. And that's what drives these pellets. So to access that, you have to open this little circle right here. And you can see there's a little Allen socket in there. Nobody cares. No, but I've tried those caliber big hole i think uh, just staring down that board would be enough to there you go that i'm empty magazine is empty nothing but air left in it let's go see how we did I take that so about a 40 foot range and i'm pretty sure this is the guy that does it right no who does it um I forget which one, which shooter actually took a round. Somebody took a fucking round. Is it hard to hurt? I think it may be hard to hurt. Yeah, I don't want to do this, man. I had to push it forward. And then yeah. He's wet. Some force this. Stopping. The, but it. 
All right, angle ahead. it go towards ahead. your face. All right, and take a big breath. Breath blow all your out. Breathe in. There you go. That's what it does. And it is insanely concentrated. Um, Caleb, then... Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do, Caleb. Um, it is insanely concentrated pepper dust that is just like extract that has been dried. Um, it's B-Y-R-N-A, Berna HD. And so you can carry it just like a pistol. A lot of places in the U.S. it doesn't even qualify as a firearm. Um, check your state uh, state laws for sure. Um, and at 40 feet, it's effective. Like, it's effective. It will hurt. One, it'll get your fucking attention. Trust me, when that thing hits you, it's going to get your fucking attention. Um, and then two, you saw the, the just the plume. You're just going to be encompassed in it. And I've seen, um, I've seen fucking, sh uh, test rounds with that, uh, with that gun. Dudes have trouble breathing. It causes inflammation and, uh, it causes like a, a reaction because you breathe that in and it, it is, it <sighs> sort of situation. Like it puts somebody it puts a stop in their game, like, near immediately. Um, so if you want sort of, like, the best of both worlds, like, if you want something that can reach out and touch somebody so you don't have to be up close and personal, but you don't want something lethal, well, if you want something less than lethal, dude, if they got asthma or they've got, like, an anaphylactic reaction to that, they're fucked. They're fucked. Um, but if you want something less than lethal, um, in addition to that, the Berna HD is probably the way to go. You get you, you get you your pepper spray, but in a handgun format, so you can reach out and touch somebody if you need to. And it gives you a, uh, a multiple round shot and minimizes blowback on you because it puts the round where it needs to go and then expends the pepper ball charge rather than spraying the whole way there. Yeah, they've got impact rounds, Kaiser. They've got, like, test rounds, they've got impact rounds, and then they've got pepper rounds. Uh, no, they would not be fine. Tech support. They would not be fine. No. So, yeah. Yeah, trust me, it will, it will work. It will get you through the mask, also, your eyes, you're fucked. Um, where can you take a stab in a bullet and be least affected in the long term? Um, your butt cheek and your forearm ulnar side. If somebody is um, coming at you with a knife and they are like slashing at you, the general recommendation, again, seek, seek a fucking consultant on this one. Don't take my advice, but... Generally, ref we refer, uh, if you're having to like block, we, we generally refer you to the ulnar side, right here, where that bone is, this is your ulna, the ulnar side of the forearm. Don't do this, don't do this, do this. This will at least, it's gonna, it, you're probably gonna have some damage, you're gonna have to get some sutures, you're, you potentially could have a cut muscle and or tendon, but as far as like long term, the shit that you really want to avoid, you go where you go with like an ulnar block and that sort of thing. Um, generally recommended if a dog is coming at you, you sacrifice offhand. Um, you uh, you sacrifice offhand. You ball up your fist and you put it like literally in the dog's mouth, and then you take your knife and you go around the throat. That is generally what we recommend in that regard as well. Um, as far as self-defense from dogs goes, give them a fist, let them clamp down. That way you can control where their mouth is and you can just like that. And that'll just put the dog down real fast. Um, if it's a machete, you're fucked. You should be running in all of these cases. You should be running. Um, that you, the first thing you should do is run. 
That's that's number one thing you should be doing. Um, <laughs> if you get with attacked with a banana, then you respond with a pear. Um, but the the um, no special considerations for pit bulls, other than you're probably gonna have you're gonna struggle controlling the pit bull. Um, also for a pit bull, chances are, if it were coming at you, most firearms training courses would just say you'd start unloading in the dog. You just put them down. Yeah. Um, you don't. So. All right. Um, yep, just, just run first, first and foremost, uh, Kvass usually about that much, depending on the gauge of the shotgun with 410, 12 gauge. What are, what are you dealing with Kvass? Um, about yay much 12 gauge. Yeah. About yay much. You're, you're looking at, yeah, something like that. Man. Don't like that. Everybody's faster than me. Should I just stay indoors? I mean, you live in a relatively safe part of the world, Mosh. I think that's a dual control. Custom control. Fair enough. Um, so, night, Chad. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it's the burning HD is really good if you're not comfortable with a like proper firearm, but you want the same sort of delivery mechanism. I mean, I have one <laughs> with her. Everybody in my family has one um, with canisters, NATO rated canisters, um, just in case. Um, I forget who manufactured ours, though. I'll be around most likely tomorrow. All right, cool. Just checking on on Buddhist. That's all. You think yours is Iranian? Yeah, there's a lot of the surplus ones. Iranian, um, fucking Israeli. Dude, that was pretty common. Was that uh, fucking who who was selling like the extra gear? Bud something or other. Um. So yeah. Bud K. I think that was one of the fucking one of those like prepper fucking things um so yeah jk whatever you know me as um all right let me quit this one sec here There we go. All right. And then minimize this. Uh, try not to be, um, try not to be exploded. It's my thoughts on being exploded. Don't, don't be exploded. It's probably the best way to go. Um, yeah. This is just my general recommendation. If you can, if you can avoid getting shot, stabbed, exploded, sprayed, tasered, like if you can avoid doing that, like you know, uh, 
Um. Oh, I know about these guys. This is a fucking reset. Yeah. Yeah, I know about these guys. I fucking yeah. All right. Fucking yeah. It's just not getting exploded. Um. All right. Let me see what I can do here. No. A Buddhist? Yeah, there's Buddhist. All right, Buddhist. Let me try and figure out how to fucking actually host. I've never done it before. Um. Manage settings. Edit selected settings. Um, where's the uh, zombie lore? There we go. Advanced zombie options. There we go. Save that. I don't do zombie resets or zombie respawns. I find that unrealistic. Um. And then world. Um. All right. There you go. All right. Let me try this, Buddhist. Feel free to jump into VC Buddhist as well. Hey, thank you for the gift sub, Buddhist. Um, and the resub. All right, it's initializing the host game right now. Um. All right, let's see if I can get this to run properly. Jesus Christ, still initializing. There we go. <laughs> now, is this going to start a new world? Is it going to start my game save? Is it just going to continue from where I was? How does this work? There you go. So you guys can see what the fuck I'm looking at. Oh, it is a brand new fucking game. Okay. Oof. All right. All right. Like I said, um, if one other person, we've got room. I, well, if anybody else has Zomboid, feel free to fucking hit me up. But if you don't have Zomboid, I'll gift one. Uh, I'll gift one of these out. But you got to be able to play. Um. So that's the deal. Um, also, you have to be able to download four gigs relatively quickly. Um. So there's that. All right. I'm starting in Rosewood. Um. I don't know my current. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, Lord. All right. Uh, Viva. I mean, fucking who knows? I, I've, I've wanted to be good at this game for a long time, Viva. And I've put a few hours. I put like six hours um, into it so far. So, oh, let me see. Get into VC here. Um, all right, C Caleb, I need your Steam user ID shit. Or, yeah, Caleb, I need yours. Ah, God damn it. If you've got a friend code... Send me a friend code, Caleb. Um, 
What would um, fuck it for now? Invitation sent. As often as I can. Uh, and. Hello. Hey, Buddhist. Let me kill the music now. We'll see. Um, we'll see how this fucking works. Uh, apparently, with the hosted game, I have to start like from scratch. Um, so in fact, you know what? Now that we're starting from scratch, let me back back now that i know that that's how it works let me go and edit the games the the test game save shit fucking stuff a little bit um also let me move some of this shit around hey thank you for the follow whoever just did that i don't have obs up on my there we go um bat the bunny yes weasel um and buddy head thanks for the follow all right let's fucking do a host and fucking edit this server test. Um, and I don't know if any of this shit should be fucking hidden, but we're doing... All right, mods. You know what? We'll do a mod list. Um, those are fine. That's fine. Uh, sleep allowed. Sleep needed. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Duh, blah, 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 blah. That's all fine. That's all fine. Admin. Um... Okay, so this game is so insane that, like, there is in-game communication, but you have to have uh, walkie-talkies. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, You have to have the walkie-talkies, and you have to operate the walkie-talkies. Um, oh, and, my God. Yeah, they have frequencies and shit like that, just like any other walkie-talkie. Um, let's see. Survivor, I think. <sighs> um... Let me check this. All right. Make sure we're not. Um, yeah, well, everything is modeled in this game. It is absolutely... Um, okay. Apocalypse. Okay. To apocalypse is sort of, uh, slow and depressing where survivors more focused on... Da -da 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 okay. Um, apply that preset. Um, zombie count, normal, normal, fine, that's fine. Okay, um, world, water shut off, we're gonna do, f okay, there we go. Um, and we'll do electricity shut off at 42. Um, let me just check that that's a thing, okay. Um, let's see, the sadistic AI director, helicopter wants, that's fine. Fine, normals across the board, that's fine. Um, why are all those set to super rare? Um, is that the normal fucking level? All right. Well, we'll play with it. Uh, I am going to add an XP multiplier um, just because um, fucking book reading, which you normally would do, you would speed up game for, you can't do in multiplayer. Um, you can still read. Mm. You can still read the books, but you can't speed the time. Um, okay. So, like in the in the single player game, you'd sit down and read a book, or watch a TV show, or read a magazine to learn something, right? And you'd speed the time up. But in multiplayer, you can't do that. So, like, you just sort of. All right. Um, <laughs> and respawn hours zero. Save it. Edit it. Save it. Now, let me just make sure all of that fucking saved. All right, cool. Um, wait, does that fucking reset that stuff? Um, yes, it does. Okay, so that's what that does. Got it. Now, let me go back and check that shit then. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So those presets 
change that shit. Yeah, we'll give ourselves a little fucking extra um, time on that because usually at two weeks, everything shuts off. So, oh, shit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking, this game is kind of insanely ridiculous. Um, Glazy, you got a complaint about the XP multiplier? Come on in here and fucking play. <laughs> Um, all right, start that. Um, all right, now that's fucking doing its thing. Let me see my friends list here. Um, Caleb, there we go. Um, store, where's the thingy? Um, uh, add it. Gift and. Where's the name? There's the name. And continue, continue, continue. Yes, yes, I agree. All right. Um, yep, Caleb, check your shit. It should be there. And then get into voice chat when you're ready. All right. Okay. Um, let me start in Rosewood. Um, I forget what my character... I did a thing that I was happy with. Um, this is... I don't know if you're watching the stream, but this is... Yep. Yeah, this is, this is the character maker. Like, you can choose, like, pre-made ones, but you get, like, points to spend, right? And I got eight points to spend, and each one of these subtracts, right? I could do that. But if you want to gain points, you take negative traits. So, like, you can literally be, like, clumsy. You can be agoraphobic, which causes pan panic if you're outside. Like, you can be hard of hearing, so you don't hear the zombies. You can be a smoker, so you have to smoke regularly, or else you start getting panicky and shit like that. High thirst, out of shape, illiterate, thin-skinned, obese, underweight, you know, weak, all these sorts of things. These will get you... Points to spend on other shit. Ooh. Um, so you can do a sort of a min-max of your own design. Um, oh, let's see. All right. I am going for a... You know what? Uh, inconspicuous, though I don't think it does. I don't think it pays dividends. Um, fast reader... And cat's eyes. See better at night, faster reader, and less likely to be seen. Um, and I will do next, and then I will load Esteban Cunningham. <laughs> um, and I will click play. Uh, is there room for a forest? Ask yes if you have the game. If you have the game already, like I'm, I'm done paying for people's additions if you have zomboid <laughs> then uh yeah um send me ask do you have me on discord if you have me on discord send me a friend invite uh you send me your friend code um and i will get you as a friend and then apparently that's how we add or do things okay um so there's the message history oh hey now all right so i'm going to Invite friends. Um, Buddhist, you are offline. Oh, let me turn myself online. Or not invisible no more. Um, and then, yeah, ask, get me your, uh, get your friend invite code. Um, and I will. Okay, you already sent it. All right, cool. Um, boom. Give me one sec. Add a friend. And. Invite sent, invitation sent. Um, all right. Let's get Buddhist in here. And uh, invite you. Okay. Theoretically, that should do a thing. I don't know if it's going to, oh. but it should. All right. Yeah, it says connecting. Um. 
Yeah, this is apparently this is where I'm starting. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. It's best if your friend has PZ closed so Steam can launch the game itself. There you go. Um, yeah, the dude, yeah, Amorous. This game is fucking psychotic. Um, all right. Why are you not? Fine. There we go. Um, I'm going to start all over again. This is not my idea of a fun time. Um, I will take, you know what? I don't need either of those. Um, okay. Uh, equip that as primary. Okay. And I will grab that. And you know what? I'll grab that stuff too. All right. Oh, the first thing I should have done when I came in here was turn the TV on to the Life and Living channel, just in case. And then, then looted. Um, all right. Let me see who is online here. All right. Invite. Ask. Ask your invitation is sent. Feel free to join us in Discord voice chat on the server. I'm here. Oh, you are? Cool. All right. Um, Caleb, your invitation is sent as well. Uh, whether that is good or not, we shall see. Um, are you in the game yet, um, Buddhist? I am not. I am currently selecting my occupation and traits. Ah, yes. Um... All right, none of this matters to me. All right, I need to figure out where the fuck I am. Uh, uh, by, by the way, the map, to add notes and shit, you have to have a pencil or pen. To erase them, you have to have an eraser. This is, this is oh. as close to real life as it fucking gets. If you want to do something, you need to have the stuff to do the thing. Um, um, okay, so, so what, what location should I spot? Uh, Rosewood. Okay, Rosewood. Okay. Um, will put us in the same town at least. As to whether. Okay, at least, uh, do you suggest any like uh, roles or should I just pick one that I like? Pick, you are going to die. You are going to die. Okay. Um, <laughs> this game literally starts. This is the story of your death. This, <laughs> this, this game is about you dying. So good luck with that. There. I'm gonna close that too. Um, like you have line of sight, you have that sort of stuff. Um, stay down, bitch. The combat is gonna be fucking finicky as shit. You're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Um, basically, you hold right click. And that sort of like, if you're looking into stream or something, you can see how I have this like reticule cursor thing. And then that will target a fuck. You can target with that and then fucking swing with your left click. But you have to set up your, your right click first to do that. I'm um, here. The guns just launching. Okay. Um, left um in fact not in base game but yes somebody has built a mod that is the bathroom functions as well so yeah you have to regularly piss and shit and you <laughs> like if you don't have toilet paper for it it becomes a thing yeah like it's modeled like somebody took the time to put a mod into the game for it and i've shown people the fucking car mechanic screen it's insane this get the, the detail that's modeled in this game like people have like literally have to conduct like multi-day experiments to try and figure out the math that's occurring and the calculations the game is doing for things that you're like, okay, how does this work? Because it's modeling a shit ton of stuff that you, you wouldn't even normally take into account in most games. Um, by the way, crouch, like uh, you use your C to crouch and then sneak that way. Just get used to moving at that speed because if you start fucking sprinting around this map, well, don't blame me. <laughs> Noted. 
Um, oh, there we go. I'm just going to open this window for this chick so she doesn't draw too much attention. And I'm going to let her come in and I'm going to smash the shit out of her, her fucking brain. And there we go. So much easier that way. Um, can, what traits did everyone else use so I can pick more I, useful ones? Well, I mean, it's just sort of fucking do your thing. Uh, I picked uh, cat eyes so I can see better at night. I spe- picked inconspicuous. And I picked... Uh, anybody remember my third one? Um, I picked... Uh, a minus four and two minus twos. Uh, I picked cat eyes to reader and I forget what reading. Else I That's what it is. Thank you. I picked speed reading or faster reader. All right. Not even going to lose time like choosing the update. By the way, you'll notice like uh, there's splatter. You can get a broom or a, you can get a mop and some bleach, and then you can clean that up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, I like this. <laughs> it's, it is absolutely absurd the detail and degree to which they're modeling. Um, okay, so there's like two, three dudes out there. Yeah, I'm going this way. Good luck with that. Uh. Oh, oh, they have broken the window. Oh, yeah, there's a fucking crew out there. Yep. Oh, wait, I could, I could work with this. Hang on. God damn it. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Open! Controls. This game, this is going to be the thing. You're going to learn really quickly. Like, this is not a game where you fucking hack and slash your way through hordes of zombies. If you start getting three, four zombies, bitch, get the fuck out. You are not equipped for that yet. This is not seven days to die. <laughs> this is not Call of Duty. Okay. I'm going to attempt to go lose. Oh, yeah, Glazy, just get a gun. Yeah, just get a gun. Did you know zombies are sound sensitive? <laughs> Did you know they have hordes <laughs> of a thousand zombies in this game? <laughs> yeah, just get a gun. Oh, that'll go well. That'll go really well. Uh, you can, in fact, get a bow. You can build a bow. You can get a bow. You can fucking... But honestly, axes uh, are the way to go. Ooh, hey now. Can I get one of them? One I can work with. Yeah, I can work with you. Yeah. Cool. Nothing on her. All right, I am going to try and orient myself so I can get to a place that I at least know is somewhat workable in this town so we can maybe fucking hole up somewhere. But I'm going to try not to attract like 97,000 zombies while I'm doing it. While empty-handed, the only thing I can do is, is push the zombie, I guess? Uh, you can push them, and if you can get them knocked to the ground, you can stomp their fucking skull. Okay, okay I am, I am, I, I am, I am being followed by a whole bunch of zombies, actually. I'm gonna sprint for a minute. Through the woods, through the woods, through the woods. There we go. And you'll, you'll notice these things. This is fucking, this is panic. I am panicked right now because, well, I was being followed by a shit ton of zombies. Oh, wow. It wasn't playing. Like, I was looking at the settings menu and I died once already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing pauses. Like, that's, <laughs> you are. My yeah, first kill. Yeah. 
congratulations. Like this I is, died oh, first. Oh, you know. Yeah, this game this game will this game is the story of your death. Oh, Esteban Cunningham left. His name is Esteban Cunningham. And he's, uh, he is, uh, yes, he's one of a long line of Estebans. <laughs> I think this is Esteban number five. <laughs> Non-binary. You can't pause life? No. No, you can't. <laughs> Jesus, some of these fuckers are still following me through the woods. Holy fuck, man. This is uh, this inconspicuous trait. I seriously have doubts about. I've had doubts about it from like a couple of different. How do I jump defense? E. Thanks. I got a red. I got a red cap, motherfucker. I got a maga, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck your cap. I knocked his cap right off his fucking skull. <laughs> I didn't even realize I'm, I'm also wearing a red cap right now. Ooh, ooh. Well, get a pan or something like that. Those are your easy weapons. There we go. Stay down. Stay down. And be sure to scan 360 from time to time. <laughs> like... Uh, by the way, you don't get a clock in game because you don't have a watch. So if you find a watch, feel free to put that on and then you can get time. Oh, well that, I opened up a door and the house alarm went off. That will happen. Yes. <laughs> yes. I thought houses would be like slightly empty, but I got inside one that was just like packed of zombies. Yeah. Um, you have to look in through the windows. You can get a you can get an eye in and see and look through the windows and then you will know whether I'm you're dealing with something. Oh, oh where am I, dude? I am out in the open. I do not like this. This is going to be zombie central. What am I looking at? Where am I? Is this the fire station? This is the fire station. Okay, I know where I am. I know where I am. I haven't got any items so far. Uh, there's stuff everywhere. You just got to know where to find it, how to look for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, left. Fucking, dude. It, um, yeah, Glazy. All the zombies have loot, per se. They all have the kind of stuff that a human being would have on them. But, like... How do we loot the zombie, specifically? Ah, I just got bit. Or torn. I don't know yet. Um, die, bitch. There we go. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of them. Hold on. I'm just going to fucking book it. Um. Huh. All right. Laceration bleeding. Great. Why, why do I not have any? Oh, fuck you. What? Oh, fuck. I swear to God. Sometimes this game's controls... It's, it's 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 biggest letdown is the fucking controls on this game. Okay, nightstick. What? Why? Come on. Okay. Grab. All right. I need. Yeah. There's all that. I don't need any of that. I need fucking. That's fine. To drive? Yeah, oh yeah, you can drive, you can fucking, dude, you gotta work on the cars though. Like, it is not like, oh, I found a car and now everything is great. No, the cars attract zombies and like, you gotta like rebuild the cars and I'm gonna need to learn how to pick up a pan before I do that. Okay, I need um, will this, nope, will this work? Yes. This laceration may, uh, yeah, Amaris, I mean, Amaris, I know all this. Please and thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yeah, you wear a skirt. No big deal. Um, 
You notice I'm heading for very specific spots on this map, Amaris. <laughs> Again. Um, all right. Yes, we're in the same world, but right now we are not in the same place. Um, once, once we figure that out, then let's see. All right, ditch all that, ditch all that. Uh, jeans, drop it. Um, drop that, drop that. All right. Um, yeah, your your big fucking your looting system, top right, top left sort of thing. Your inventory versus what you've got around you, and then you see the icons next to stuff. So there could be multiple items, including the floor around you or near you that you can loot from. Um. Do I not have? <laughs> All right, let's. I I didn't want to drop it. I just wanted to wear it. Put the pants on. There we go. All right, I have come to the police station because there is a bunch of good shit. Um, Ooh, big police car. I'm not sure if it's like clothes by. Basically, if you can find on your map a bunch of really large purple blue areas, chances are you'll find either the courthouse, the firehouse, or the police station. And don't go into the courthouse. Um, but the fire department uh, will be make a very good base. Um, eventually. We'd, ha we'd have to secure it. Um, but the police station has a bunch of good shit in it. I'm like bleeding. I'm still trying to figure out how to stop bleeding. Okay, so find some clothes. Right-click the clothes. And okay. you'll see rip clothing. Just rip all ah. of it. And then go to your fucking the bouncing heart thing. Um, so, okay. Okay, where it says your health tab and you've got your wound, whatever it may be. Right click that and you'll see bandage options. Yeah, I'll do that once I, I manage to ditch the 10 zombies that are following me. Okay, there's four of them in here. All right, I'm just gonna do that and then loot the fuck out of this place. Um, you know what? I'll grab that. Grab some matches for later on. Um, I will grab one of you a nightstick because they're good weapons. I'm going to leave the pistols here because... Oh, you know what? Fucking nightsticks for everyone. As long as I can carry the load. Um, yeah, we'll have a bunch of pistols if and when we want them in the police station. Bunch of 9 mils. Um, but that's generally recommended not early game. It's not, Very fair. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a smart idea to just scream, I'm here, to the zombies. Rough aerial map you're in, Carl. All right, here, you can look at my uh, stream. Um, yeah, I've got a second monitor. There you go. Zoom out. like. I lot. mean, that's... I haven't... If you haven't been there, you don't have it on the map. So, there you go. Yeah, like that. All right, cool. Now I know vaguely where I'm going. Abuse the fact the world's only so big. Um, all right, done, 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 done. All right. Church. Um, if anybody, if you come across the medical facility, it's by. Um, it's on Main Street. It's by like if you find a law office. Um, a salon, a zippy mart, a bookstore, 
a buffet, a clothing store, all sort of like next to each other. The the Rosewood Medical will be in the middle. <laughs> Loot that place clean. Will do then. Oh, fuck you. They got in. I'm dead. I'm toast. Yep. Yep. Fucking, I hate the, I hate the fucking targeting system in this game. I really do. It's its biggest fucking weakness. Despite them being highlighted, you saw, despite you, fucking people watching the stream, you could see he was highlighted how many times and he just missed. Like, I died. It, it, this, this game's combat system is its weakest fucking point. Its combat system is janky as shit. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm literally just going to, you know what I'm going to do? Um, watch this. We're going to go out like a fucking baller. Um, tra <laughs> transfer everything to this desk. Um, and then I still got my nightstick, right? Yeah, we're just going to take out a bunch of fuckers on my way. Come here. Come here, cunt. There. I'm just gonna go a fucking suicide run here. Stop resisting. There we go. Alright, they're all fucking dead. Uh this guy is bitten, bleeding, infected, lacerated, bleeding. Yeah, he's fucked. Just just die already. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go fucking I'm gonna dump my stuff. All in this desk. Oh, you know what? I'll just wait for fucking the inevitable demise, but I'm hearing other people, so. Okay, I can't get back here. Right? No. Okay, they're all jailed. Alright. Um, all right, so let me see the protection. Yeah, the clothes are pretty much torn up, I think. Um, what, why, why would I go? I swear to God, sometimes. I mean, if I scroll up the map, it's like really huge. Is that like the actual size? Of, like it can be really far from you, right? I mean, if you spawned into Rosewood, you would be in the general vicinity. Okay. Okay, so now it's a new life. Okay. Let's see. I'll take that, too. And then... <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, um, I want this stuff over here. I want this over here. Um, uh, does like um, filtered water like makes your health bad or something? Like, can I drink from the, the tap? Oh, you know, no, no, you can. Not only can you drink from the tap, you can wash every item of your clothing and your ever uh, yourself as well, and that factors into your panic level. It factors into infection rates. It factors into like happiness rates. Um, yeah, like not only do you have to drink, you have to wash your clothes and yourself. I think I might be doing, there is a pack of like 20 zombies chasing me. Okay, so I'm going to run this guy out into here. Yep, terminal damage. I'm just going to fucking... Because, by the way, if you get bitten and you become a zombie, and you want your loot, you got to hunt yourself down and kill your zombie old self. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. 
Like that's so the smart thing to do is to just do what I'm doing. Ditch all your stuff in a secure location and then <laughs> fucking wander your dude into the wilderness like some sick animal. And, like, and, just, <laughs> and fucking put him down, right? Let him let him drop. Uh, let me uncover some of this map, though. What's up, guys? That was my idea in my first life. Get as far around the map as I can just to uncover it. There we go. I'm taking someone with me. Fucking, we're doing it. We're doing this fucking hero style. Fucking, you're all coming with me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh God. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> all right, just uh, run into the pack and fall. There we go. All right, new character, Rosewood, next. Um, all right, so I do not believe Inconspicuous does shit, um, personally. I've used it a few times. I'm going to do Fast Reader. I'm going to do Cat's Eyes. Um, Are we the, the long survivors? Like, can we find, like, random NPCs, uh, like, no. still alive? No, we're, we're lone survivors. I think they have that on the roadmap to add in some NPCs here uh, this year, maybe. Um, okay. And Esteban is back from the dead. Fuck it. <clears throat> Oh, and I'm already in a facility that they just spawned me into a building that is an alarm going off. How kind. That's wonderful. Oh, I know exactly where I am right now. Perfect. I know exactly where I am. Now, provided I survive. I think I'm at a prison by the looks of it. Uh, you may have found the Justice Center. Well, it's got a bunch of security towers and barbed wire fences, so I assume so. Oh. Okay. Now, I don't remember if I keep my map. I keep my map. Cool. Um... Uh, Caleb, are you yeah. at this big blue blob up here? Uh, no, I'm at a security center. Okay. It's a different weird blue blob. Okay, then, yeah, you're actually at the fucking other one. Um, all right, so... Yo, this house alarm isn't going off, so that's good. Yeah, my my main strat so far has just been stick to woodland because there seems to be less zombies in it. Yes, um, but there's also far less resources. Well, I just assume this character's inevitable death will give me more map. Dead again. Oh, fuck you. This is what I mean. Characters highlighted, not attacking. The combat system in this game is the definition of jank. Get on the fucking ground. There. All right. Oh, that's not going to cut it. Jeans. Why are they all here? Why did they all follow me into this place? Oh, fuck this guy. Fuck this character. Fuck this run. At least I know where I am. Oh, they broke that fucking door. That window, too. I can't get out of it. Oh, good. I'm being surrounded. Well, 
You know what? There's no respawn on zombies on this server. So I'm just going to take out as many zombies in this residential area, which makes really good looting. There's a couple of generators over here. Um, so I'm just going to go like kamikaze run on this bitch. And see what I can't get done. There we go. He's dead. Uh, I took out, I don't know. How many did I take out? Uh, a few. Nine zombies. Nine zombies for an hour worth of work. Um, <laughs> nice. Fucking cat's eyes. You know, I just I just saw your, your dead body. Oh, is that you running in? Yeah, watch out for yeah. this fucking place. Dude, don't come in here. Um, I'm going to take resilient. And that's it. Um, you know what? Fucking Al Langston. Sure. I'm gonna be Al Langston. <laughs> um, is this oh I just spawned at the uh, the police center. Okay, so Buddhist. You yes. are right down here. Right now, that house is right down here. Okay? This is the police center, and this is the fire department, and this is the just, uh, justice center. So the police has a bunch of fucking weapons and clothes. The fire department is where we want to end up because the fire, uh, the fire outfits are the best for, like, resiliency against, like, you know, outside of, like, modded, patched up fucking gear. That is the best for scratch bite resiliency, and it's a really good base that we can eventually wall off and use. But the police department has like the night sticks and shit like that. And we can ride out of the okay. gate. But this entire string of houses over here on both sides of that road are, we will loot the shit out of that stuff. Um, but like it, it's really easy to get swarmed up there right now. Um, so, you know, if you can make your way safely up to the police center, I would suggest it. Um, All right. But take your fucking time. Um, equip. And wear that on the right wrist. Wait, did I just do what I think I did to myself? I just fucked up one of my legs. I, 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 I yeah. tripped over a branch or something. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> you can completely fall and fumble and shit like that. Yep. I love it. Um, where are the pants? Pants, okay. Rip them. Okay. And I will. Why is that not open? Um, police shirt. Where? And. Um, shirt, pants, shirt, pants. All right. Is there shirt, shirt, beer? Okay, cool. Um, oh, Jesus. All right. Let's fucking do this. One by one. Oh, there's three of them. Jesus Christ. All right, that one's dead. I'm, I'm in front of the police station, but I, I'm being followed, so I'm going to try to dish them before I go in. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking having to clear out a line here. One of these is a cop. That's a cop. That's a fucking former cop. I'm taking no pleasure in doing this, sir. <laughs> Don't lie to us. All right, come here, cunt. You saw it. You saw it. They were they were resisting. 
All right. Okay, I have killed a bunch of fucking people. Um, let me come out front and. Okay, can I jump windows? Uh, yes. Oh, no. No. I'm now stormed again. Let okay. me ditch them again. You can open windows. You can break windows. If you break the window, you have to clear the glass out, or else you will get cut. Um. Okay. How do I clear? Right click the window, and there should be an option for it. There, found it. Oh yeah, I, do. I don't have any item on my left hand. Damn it. Holy shit, oh shit, is that you? I see you crouching. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's me. No, no, I'm, I'm the other person. I, You're actually taking zombies away from me, so thank you. You're welcome, do my best. The desk, the central desk area will have nightsticks and guns. Okay. Oh, there's a locked door here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Ah, god damn it! There's two in a row. Fuck you. I hate the combat system. I love. I I, I honestly want to love this game, but I hate the combat system. I haven't even figured out how to hit people with like a balloon pin or anything yet. Die. God damn it. I think I cannot use a belt as a weapon. No. How many fucking zombies did you guys bring in? I died and I actually spawned inside of this. I should that do that, I guess. I'm, I'm struggling Holy to get Holy shit! So much. Right, I'm just gonna fuck. I'm finally in. I'm fucking I'm in top. Yeah, I'm running. Fuck it, dude. There's like you just brought like 90 zombies in that fucking building, <laughs> dude. Sneak, sneak in. That's me. All right. All right. Fucking close that door. All right. Yeah. Start. I'll see if. Okay. So I'll see if I can't keep an eye. There should be nightstick somewhere in these. Drawers and just keep searching. Just drink some water. Well, you got a few zombies in. Arm yourself, ideally. Oh no! Oh no! There. A pistol with bullets, but I think. Yeah, don't, don't, don't even try. Yeah. Uh oh. Can I they got take me. it and store it? It's not worth carrying. Yeah, just leave it wherever it is because it's not worth carrying the weight. Okay. Get Alone. get get yeah, a get a melee not. weapon of some sort. Okay. I can now. I thought I would be happy by finding like a gun, but apparently not. Jesus goddamn Christ, they're all here. Yeah, I see you. I'm, I'm trapped inside this, this, this room there. Like, if I see a melee weapon, like, attached to the zombie, I, I I'm probably can pick that, right, if I kill him? Yes. They'll either drop it or you can grab it, yeah. Alright, there's two more done. Okay, I had to leave the, the room. Okay, that's fine. I'm just I'm just trimming zombies down. Cause I have no respawn on this map. I I, I am of the opinion zombies should not respawn. Because like that's not a thing. People don't just magic out into existence. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, if yep, we if yep. we kill them, they're dead. Doesn't die in light. I, oh. I fucking hate the respawn system in dying light. Holy shit, that is obnoxious. <laughs> fucking zombie just falling out of falling out of the sky. Oh, I thought I thought this room was like open, but this is actually a trapped place. Damn it. Oh no no no! I I think I can jump this. What the fuck? Actually hit them. How do I come out this damn window? All right, they're on the ground. There's three more. Bandage this up. Fucking either way, fucking Al Langston's gonna go down a goddamn hero. <laughs> Fucking, he is going to take so many fuckers out. His ki his KD ratio is going to be amazing. <laughs> these, these hallways are just splattered with blood. That looks so cool. Right, you stupid twat. Stop fucking banging on the outside. There. Oh, Jesus Christ. They got out. They got out. So many. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, there's more in here too. Oh my god, where are they all coming from? There's just a fucking horde on this base. Alright, fuck it, I'm out. I'm fucking sprinting. Fuck this. They're all attracted to that building. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm out. If you are still in it, well, good luck. Fucking ditch them around this corner. And then remove the broken glass. And then get the fuck in there. Wait, do you see me? Oh my god, the fire station is literally full. It is literally full. Holy shit. Okay. Holy shit. I'm out. Oh, for fuck's sake, I scratched my fucking hand just hopping a fence. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to the residential area. Fuck this, I'm just gonna sprint. So many goddamn zombies. You know, I think it's, it's bugged, because I'm actually next to you, but you don't see me. Uh, me? Yeah. I'm literally running with you in my game. Like, with you. Like, I'm next to you. Yeah, but you don't see me now. I see the, I see the stream. I'm, let me see if I can push you. I can't. Okay. I don't even think I see the same zombies as you do. It's weird. Hmm. So, like, I'm standing, like, behind you, literally. Okay, I've got bitten by a zombie next to you, and you don't see that No, I saw a zombie. Okay, that zombie's biting me. That's, that's bug. Okay, go to the, yeah. Oh, yeah, um... yeah, those zombies are killing me. We'll see That's what a weird. we'll see what a respawn does. Yeah. Oh, God, I'll see if I can send so a print on Discord. So many fucking zombies. Jesus goddamn Christ. 
Where's a fucking residence? Literally, like what? What did we just poured out of there? Six? Twelve? How many zombies were in a small fucking one person house? <laughs> Maybe the later on, uh, going on the For the ones that want to see, I sent a picture on the voice chat uh, text. Uh oh. I think this character might be dead imminently. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck bleeding. Yeah, I'm something. lacerated and bleeding. I got a spoon. I know this house. I've spent time in this house. Why is that a wolf? Okay. Eat the ice cream. Clean the rags. Remove. Still bleeding. Infected. Yeah, this character's fucked. Um, clean all the rags. Bandage it. Bandage it. Oh, for fuck's sake. The left hand is bandaged, right hand is bandaged, left upper arm is bandaged, lower torso is bandaged. <laughs> All right. Um, bunch of canned food. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. I need bandages. Uh, bleach broom. By the way, you can kill yourself by drinking bleach. Oh, really? It's not fast, but it will do the job. Yeah. <laughs> I found one of those houses, Kai. It was just one room in this apartment complex that had like seven zombies in it. Yeah. Fuck is that shit about? Um, all right, t-shirt, rip it all. Yeah, no, there are no fucking redemptions on the screen when the game scene is up. Fucking, you guys don't get to cue audio cues. You don't get to put shit on the screen in the middle of a fucking game. <laughs> Stop trying to be obnoxious to us. <laughs> All right. Um, is there no upstairs bathroom? I could have sworn there's an upstairs bathroom. Here it is. All right. Um, disinfect rags. There we go. All right. Now remove that one. I think this is the infected, right? Yes. Disinfect with the bottle of disinfectant. Then bandage it with a sterilized rag. And bandage that with a sterilized rag. All right. Well, the character's at least stable and not bleeding out. Where the fuck are you guys coming from? Oh. 
Okay, I I'm outside that door. Damn it, my spoon broke. <laughs> Whoa! Let's see if you're gonna be able to see me this time. Don't know, but either way, I'm not going out the front door. Jesus goddamn Christ. Fucking nightstick. Uh, must have broken or something. Uh, yeah, broken nightstick. God damn it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a rolling pin. Great if the right click worked. And I'm out. So, I am not gonna fuck. Yeah. Huh? I'm not sticking around for that. What happened? I fucking I got the fuck out. <laughs> of what? Uh the house. Why? Because it's surrounded by zombies. I'm I i can not see where Oh, I see you. You just passed. Okay, you saw me this time. Good. Yeah, buzz cut white shirt. Yeah, that's that's me, Skizo. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw you fucking zoom on by with a couple behind you. Ugh. Man, I didn't get the head, and the zombie just just got up again. Damn yeah, it! Yeah. Uh, there is a if you get a moment, there is an uh there's an option in your settings, uh under options and accessibility. No, um display, uh aim outline any weapon. That will give you the green outline that you see on my screen. Oh, that's a good idea. I need to do that. Yes. God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Problem is get up time. Alright. Uh, nope. Alright, this house was functionally useless. See you out there. There we go. No good items. No good items. Oh, ball pen, hammer. Okay, I Ooh. want that one. Yeah, that's good for disassembling stuff. That's actually useful. Okay. High visibility fast. I, I don't think that's good. Yeah, let's let's not increase our visibility. <laughs> okay. First time I got a weapon in my hand. That, that, I'm happy. Rolling pins. The best item I've found so far is a pencil. Uh, rolling pins count. Uh, pans count. Like kick, uh, cooking pans. All that shit's weapon. Let me see if I have one here. All right, no. this is the end of the line for the houses. All right, here's what I'm gonna recommend. Um, fucking, all right, ask. Uh, you're with me, right? That's that's what. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Um, let's just slowly but surely start working our way through here if we can. 
uh, be prepared to just ditch the fuck out if we have to. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this window here and just. Sure. Oh, okay, you cannot open the, that door, right? And there we go. They're all banging on that shit outside. Uh, oh I'm shit! Just yeah. Stay here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab all this. And then we can like split if if you're heavy. Is that any like heavy? Oh like, yeah. You get heavy? Yeah. Yes, oh yeah. Yes, it yeah. Very much so. Um, if we can find backpacks or fanny packs or satchels or oh, there it is. Holy shit. Um, I have how to use generators. It is a super rare fucking magazine. You by default don't know how to use generators in this game. Um, and some people hunt for this stupid fucking magazine for days. We have just found it. That means all of us can train characters to fucking... Okay, we can use the same magazine multiple times. Yes. Then yeah, they aren't good. consumable. We, we can literally put them in a fucking... Okay, going back out, going back out. Okay, there's one jumping out of the window here. I'm afraid of like hitting you. Oh no, you're fine. By mistake. Is there like, uh, can I hit you? I, I'm pretty sure you can, but like, I, there is PvP modes and stuff in this game. Um. Okay, I'm thirsty. Okay, there's a lot of fucking zombies over here. Um, Wither, for the love of God, I would have to literally stop the stream. Redo the programming, do some new scripting, shut down the game. So just, that's what you're asking, Wither. Wither, Wither is advocating right now for us to just stop stream. So, no, that's what you're asking, Wither. So if you want to keep advocating for it, feel free. Hey, 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 hey. Stay down there. There we go. All right, let me clear this glass. What we'll probably do is hole up in one of these houses because we can plank the windows and shit like that. Um, I'm going to drink. You got any fucking shit you need to do? Yeah, I want to drink as well. But wait. Yeah, yeah. I managed to get in. All right. I, you go, go, go drink. I'm going to fucking handle some shit here. Come on through. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, I think now I'm just scared, which is normal. You can, in fact, take antidepressants, beta blockers, uh, have a drink of alcohol, or smoke a cigarette. All of those will help calm you. There you go. Uh, when you go into a house and you're going to spend any amount of time looting or whatever, um, turn the TV on. Um, ooh, there is a prepared pot of soup here that is not yet cooked. So, fucking, I'm going to take this pot of soup over to the oven. I'm going to transfer the pot of soup to the oven. I'm going to... There's some, some food here as well, see? Uh, salad and soup. Feel soup is also... Is it uncooked? Yeah, I or, think so. It's yeah, it's 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 a Portuguese, but yeah. Okay, so I am I'm cooking the soup in the oven. We're gonna have Esk and I are sitting on a pot of soup here. When it's done cooking, there'll be like a few servings in it, probably. Um, by the way, if you want to look at the fucking stream, you can go to the fucking settings on the pot uh, on the uh, on this stove, and there's literally like a timer. There's temperatures. There's, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to like this game models basically everything. It's That's kind crazy. of insane. Okay, I want to do setting things in my in my game now. Uh, so what should I do? Okay, uh, uh green thing. Yeah, okay. Options, Options uh, display, um, huh? and then aim outline. It's about halfway down your screen. Okay. And any weapon. Done. Yeah. Okay. That'll give you that green outline, so you at least know your fuck who you're looking at. Fair. Okay. So what, once you finish with that, I want to cook uh, the 
the soup here as well. Okay, so what I will do as soon as this is done... Um, should I click in the oven or should like drag and drop uh, to to the open open, open the inventory the same way you've been looting and then move that into that inventory. Okay. All right. Pot of I soup. Just need to select the oven inventory. Okay, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna eat half this soup and then esk. I'm gonna put the pot of soup on the ground and you can eat the other half. Okay, I don't think I placed the food. In the oven. Damn it. No, you okay, didn't. Now I... Yeah. Um, Let okay. me know if... Okay, so I'm I going did. to... Here you go. Um, there you go. You can pick that soup up, and there's like a half a serving of a pot of soup uh, in that oven. Okay. I'm going to drink it. Yep. Just half go, of it. Just yeah, go, go for all. Just go for all. Because it's only a okay. half serving anyway. Oh, I think it. Yeah, I still don't think I have managed to cook something. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, we burned. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Come it, on. Dude, it's a thing. Uh, okay. I, I, I think I should just drop in the floor. Nice. Nice, Karina. Uh, duly noted. Um, all right, so... Bandage, rip sheet, bandage, rip sheet. Still bandaging shit. You might want to check your bandages. They may be dirty if you have bandages on, if you've been cut and or any of that sort of stuff. Um, I, th I think I'm, I'm good on that. Um, let me just... Okay, this um, door has been completely knocked down. Yeah, my life thing okay. is fine. Uh, like where I see the body, it's just like, okay. Okay, good. Um, so, yeah. All right, then, is there anything in this? Sort of I'm going to take a spoon. Ooh, Just boots. To... I'm going to wear those. And I'm going to wear a jacket. It'll protect me a little more. Um, this is also a really good time to take a minute. I'm going to do it in the sink over here. Um, fucking... Wash? Yeah, wash yourself. Wash all your clothing. We don't have any soap, not that I'm aware of. If you have some soap... It will... You gotta do it up here. Yeah. Uh, there's a bathtub. Um, yeah, all of that affects your panic level. It affects infection rates. It affects, affects all that sort of stuff. Uh, Buddhist and fucking Caleb, how are you guys doing? I I'm Dive, on life number but... three, but I finally managed to not spawn. In a river of zombies, so you know. That's a win. <laughs> um, uh, Non-binary, not that I'm aware of. I can dismantle the washing machine. I can move the washing machine, too. I can pick it up and fucking take it somewhere else. Um, but... Yeah, I don't... I, I can get components out of it. But I don't think I can construct a generator from it. Not that I'm aware of. Um, so yeah, if either of you or both of you eventually find your way, I mean, I've shown it on screen, right? Like if you can find the police station, there's this just string of houses over here, which is where Esk and I are fucking, uh, where we're washing ourselves and oh, let's do the jacket, um, and feeding ourselves and sort of we're holding up and trying to establish something here. I guess I'm clean. Let's see if I have other, like, better clothing here. Uh, no, Karina, uh, uh, fucking, yeah, no, right now in game is Eskazon, Caleb's Revenge, and Absurd Buddhist. Uh, Karina, that's, that's who's in game with me right now. Eagle is not here. Why am I slight panic? Okay, I'm not anymore. Somebody walked by the... Okay, uh, close the curtains, that's why. I saw a zombie sneak by. Um, and then drink. There we go. Holy shit! Okay, there's a bunch of zombies in here. Okay, I'm going now. Uh, shit, 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 shit. We might have to hold up at the top of the steps. Okay, I'm here. I 
Just clean. I just cleaned all these fucking clothes, you stupid fucking cunt. <laughs> I'm gonna respectfully just watch, because I don't want to get dirty. Die already. Jesus. It's taking a while. There we go. Stupid twat. Alright, let me see. Okay, here's another one. There we go. Done. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get two more. So we're gonna split these. See what we can do. Oh, three! We might be fucked. I found a commercial vehicle magazine. Oh. Yeah, I heard it. Um. Yeah. There we go. That but I'm too. not infected, so that, okay. that, that that's good, I guess. Oh, oh. I clicked in take all. Damn it. <sighs> okay, we got like. Okay, my. Is that a fire? Oh yeah, there's fires and shit that happen as well. Okay, now I need to learn how to put a bandage on myself. But let let's kill those two. Those two, three, twelve, four, whatever. They, they cannot climb walls, right? So I, I shouldn't expect the zombie to come from those other rooms, right? I guess. No. Yeah, you did. that won't happen. Okay. At least. Are we good? Our house is on fire? Oh, for yeah, it seems to be. Potentially. No, it is, it is. It's okay. just that turning into wood. And... Alright, well, we need to get the fuck out. I'm running. Oh, we left the oven on. Oh, that... I did that. 100% left the <laughs> oven on, and now this entire... Dude, this entire neighborhood could go up. <laughs> oh, I, Jesus I, Christ. I died. To I, what? To what? I... I... Uh... Don't know. Actually, because I, I had the live thing open. Oh, there you maybe are. it was the bleeding from my, from my neck. Okay. You're dead. Th thank you, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna grab your ball peen hammer and oh no 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 motherfucker. Go out, you're gonna get maybe I was burned, I don't know. Okay, it's it's it's, it's fun. I'm I'm starting to There we go. To enjoy it. Alright, I got your hammer. Thank you. Oh, that motherfucker right there. All right, hang on. Do I have anything? Drop it. Drop it. I need a fucking proper weapon. I want... Why does this take... There. Oh god, I'm on fire. You are on fire? Like... <laughs> yeah, you can catch I... fire. <laughs> hey, that's a... I think that's I'm my a... former self. I'm just watching you guys in carnage at this point. <laughs> I'm just in this house cooking some master. There we go. Tell me I can get to that. Tell me that I can get to it. I can get to it. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I got a duffel bag. Yo, nice. I am now in the top neighborhood, the, the one we are in. All right. Um, All right. Like, okay. the house is in, like, in a rectangle, like, inside a rectangle. 
Okay. Um, let me start moving some of this shit. Got advanced tailoring. Not sure if that's useful. Damn it. Literally need to put these fucking zombies down. Because if we don't, apparently, the entire fucking neighborhood will go on fire. Because these fuckers literally catch fire. Oh, God. What do I do to fucking get rid of fire? There we go. They literally just, like, spread the fire like fucking birds. Like, on, like, bats on fire and shit. All right. What do I, what do I do? Fucking... Die. 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 <laughs> there. <laughs> Alright, bandage it. Alright. I am essentially across the street from where we were. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, I can see on the on the on the map on your screen. I'm a little bit far, but I think you can get there. Alright, drink. Um, oh, grab the c soap and the cleaning liquid. Yeah, that'll make washing a lot easier. There we go. Remove the bandage. Dude, this guy's... <laughs> Al Langston's fucking survived a lot more than I thought he would. Ooh, I got an infected fucking cut, though. Um, I'm not seeing any disinfectant up in this bitch. You got infected, like, in the... Uh, in infect you turn it, into a zombie, like, in a bit? Uh, no, like, infected cut from fucking... Uh, a, Oh, okay, not not the zombie. Yeah, I don't okay. think so. We'll see though. Can um, uh, clean the rags. Okay, I'm close by. So far, no zombies like around. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to get in without killing you. Severe damage, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, he may not. Al may not fucking survive. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I need an actual... Oh, hey there. Uh, I okay, so I do have... Uh, the only thing I have is like calming medicine, I guess? Nah, that's fucking... Yeah. Uh, I have food, milk, lime, orange. Uh, and that's it. I'm no, gonna... I think what I'm gonna do... Seriously? Is this is a long build, time. Is build a, a chair? No, I'm going to fucking disassemble this chair. It'll give me some hammer. It'll give me some nails and planks. Oh, there. Do you have like a, a spare thing? Um, fucking. Weapon? Any? Uh, yeah, here. Hang on. There you go. There's on the, uh, on the ground. Got it. Um, all right. So I'm going to take those plank, those planks and nails uh, feel free to right click any of the chairs and the tables and disassemble. Uh, now. Carpentry, fucking. Oh, yeah, garden saw and Sarah. It's just like I don't have the. The. I can just send a table. Well, that will be it. All right, close the curtains. Um, okay. Parkour. Nope. Okay. Wall. I've never done this. They got like scrap wood. I don't think that's, that's useful. But. Uh, potentially. Let me... yeah. Just drop any planks or like wood or nails or shit you get. Just drop it on the ground. Got this, which... 
just scrap. Mm, yeah. Like it's just like I don't I don't manage to disassemble properly, I guess. It's something. Fair enough. Uh, okay, there is one outside. Let's see if it's coming in. Yes. Should I turn on the TV, like you said? Uh, not at this second, because they're okay. going to want to get in. Um, all right, where the fuck are they? Oh, there he is. I just won there. Oh, I'm fucked. Stop smashing our shit. Yeah. All right. Um... Get a saw and hammer. I have a saw. <coughs> Pull this stuff out of my duffel bag. Okay. Saw, hammer, planks. Could we cook the ribs? Yeah, go for it. Just let's remember okay. to turn the oven off this time. Yeah, <laughs> I will. First of all, I need to. Oh, I'm gonna place the food first. A baking tray. Well, that's maybe I should, I can use it. I don't In the fucking tray. see the option. Um, I will take that. Okay, so to see if it's cooked, I should just be looking at the inventory, right? Yes, yeah, it'll have a cooking progress bar on it. Mm. This doesn't seem to be cooking. <sighs> yeah, failed to produce. Uh, let's see. See, yeah, something. sometimes I guess it just doesn't... Yeah, it's just a roll. It's a roll. Um... Container over. Yeah, it doesn't cook. It's just like I think I need to put in the baking tray. But I don't. Should I put pepper on it? Okay. Oh, well, this character just spawned into like eight zombies. That's amazing. I do not see. Do they need to be bandaged? Is the question now at this point, or am I healed? Nope. Yeah, I don't want to screw up. Later, later, when you can you take a look in the oven just to see mm -hmm. like how to properly cook that. Like I put like the baking tray shows cooking, oh, but the, oven, the food doesn't show up. The oven's cooking. not on. I, I turned it on. No, I turned it on, but oh. then it just doesn't show up cooking. All right. Oh, hang on. So I don't know what I you do. Take a look. See? No, so I don't know it's if cooking. I should. Like, it's cooking. Put pep. It is? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, a, it... okay. Okay. I thought like it would show up in like in the in the right thing. No, no. Okay, it, that's fair. Yeah, it's it's the tool tip. Okay. Fair. All right. Nice. Um. All right. So I have planks. Fucking, there it is. All right, I'm a fucking. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna hold up here. Executive okay. uh, executive decision. We're gonna fucking blank this house. Yeah, we're gonna start fucking barricading this house. By the way, zombie corpses matter. Uh, they will contribute to infection and disease rates to the area. So we have to like literally move them away from our general vicinity. Okay. Oh, good to know. Yeah, they, they literally they count. <laughs> I finally found you guys. What's up, Caleb? Welcome, welcome to te temporary home number one. Oh shit! You just okay? All right. Oh yeah, it's yeah, good. It's gonna be like that. Oh, it's gonna be like that. They're all on fire too. <laughs> okay. And I was just fucking lacerated. I, I just got this. Fucking... And I got, I got bit. Damn it! Oh, leave. All right. 
There we go. All right, that's bandaged. Come on, follow me. There we go. Fucking stay away from the house. Follow me, you assholes. And it, it like is it possible to bring water? Because I don't want this fire to spread here. Damn it. You can you can literally get a cooking pot full of water. Okay, the fire is out for some reason. I don't know how, but there's out. Close the door. Okay. Let's close the door. Oh, oh no! Get the zombie body out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh, even better. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I'm fucking doing a thing. I got a watch. Nice. Alright. You know, the panic, the extreme panic stuff, like, honestly, at a certain point, wouldn't you get used to it? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you come to terms with the fact that you're in a zombie apocalypse? Okay, Very it's true. eight o'clock. No, it's six o'clock. There's a one. There. Okay, now I need to put stop my bleeding. Uh, Is that? How? I closed that door. Oh, fuck you all. At least I thought I did. I hit E. There we go. Out of the corner. Close the fucking door. Lead him around. And then fucking get the fuck back out. And then equip is your primary. Where is a single burning zombie trying to get through the door? Kill uh, it. He broke the door. Yeah, yeah, fucking you gotta not let them knock on doors and windows and shit. You gotta go out and just yeah, deal with it. I was trying to clean myself. Yeah. I'm bandaging myself. And now I'm on fucking fire. Yep. Good luck with that wound. Alright, is this the fire department? This is the fire department. You know what? I think I'm Holy now I know where the rough area you guys are in. I'm just gonna start stomping zombies. Because they don't respawn. So I think I just found the fire. Kill. I'm just basing that off of the glow. Uh, the house is on fire. Well, so long, temporary house number one. Oh yeah, no, Karina, they're, they're noise, uh, sound, sight, smell. If you're unbathed, they can smell you too. Games modeling all of the senses. Everything is on fire. <laughs> Run a bit. I call this strat hiding next door. Damn. How does a pile of flaming zombies not just like die? Seriously, I I look over and I just see a pile of flaming zombies just keep getting back up. <laughs> oh, child, <laughs> there are fucking flaming zombies everywhere. Just drop all my items in the floor by, by accident. Okay, that's, that's Okay, nice. there's one less flaming zombie. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep them in the pavement if you can. Like, lead them, but keep them in the pavement so they don't set everything on fire.
Christ. You know what? Fuck it. I'm out. I can't. I can't fight a thousand fucking zombies by myself, so. All right. I just got a fucking ditch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I just found, yeah, I found Zippy Market. But this is going to be, dude, this is going to be Zombo Central. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is like a th billion zombies. Up and over. Yep. There we go. Maybe, maybe I managed to lose him. Jesus goddamn Christ. Just an empty fucking house. Just an empty goddamn house. Yep. It'd be great. Fucking target tracking would work. There we go. There's that horde. Alright. Ah. Uh. Holy shit. There we go. Alright, I think they're actually trapped on that side. I'm outside this house, uh, next to this this zombie. I'm gonna kill it. Okay. I'm going. I am. Um... I have a lot of dirty uh, bandages. Okay, it's locked. Damn it. I'm going around. Um. All right. <laughs> No, there's plenty of food here. Um, alright. Open the stupid window before this dumb cunt smashes it. There. Uh, close window. Close curtains. There. If they can't see through it, then they don't fucking freak out. Those curtains on that side. All right. Can I? Do I have a plank? Ooh. I don't. Right. It's over here. Sheet of paper. All right. Going upstairs. The 
fact that you managed to like find me, follow and find me after all that psycho fucking running around, good on you. Uh, I'm popping painkillers just so everybody knows we're going that route. <laughs> Do I have soap? Uh, I think I, I I think I need to change my dirty bandage. Yes, you do. Okay, I can remove it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you do. What's the first time I managed to find a weapon so far? Hey, what'd you get? A rolling pin. Yeah. Fear me. All right. What? Clean the rags. All of them. Um, he's a bandage, put that on. Oh, uh, wash. Yeah. Wash the clothing. God knows it needs it. Yeah, Karina, somebody's banging around on fucking, I think it's the, the garage next door, but either way. <laughs> yeah. I have one in the back. Two. All Three right. breaking. They're all getting inside the bathroom. All right. All all right inside, but I'm I'm smashing them. Oh shit! They're yeah. coming the other way too. Just did bail, 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 bail. Right, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, they got in the other way. Yep. Go go go! I'm I'm gonna be dead. Oh, I managed to jump. I don't know how. I need to zoom out more. I'm completely destroyed. Like. All right, I unfortunately have to call it tonight because I gotta get up for work. However, really enjoying it, and let me know whenever you're playing again. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep the game going. Heck yeah. Uh. All right, man. Sleep well. Good luck with work. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. And good thank night, you again night. for uh, gifting me the game. Uh, you're welcome. Good night, Kai and chat. Have a good one. Am I out of stamina here? Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, and I think I'm out of stamina. Jesus Christ. Like, I'm, I'm fucking exhausted. Excessive exertion can barely walk. My plan so far has just been to reveal as much as math as possible while dying. I would actually like to revise that plan, if you don't mind. Yeah? Like, yeah, because coordinated, acti coordinated activity is going to get more done. Like, I, dude, I already know what the map looks like. Like, you can pull up the Project Zomboid map with full details of every fucking item and shit on, the, like, on your side screen if you want. That's, that's not really a priority. We need to get our shit together so we can get some pl uh, furniture disassembled, so we can get some planks made, so we can hopefully get to an area without too many zombies, and then we can fortify it so we can do loot runs. Because as it is, we're getting our asses handed to us on a regular basis here. We haven't been able to hold a single location for more than, like, five minutes. I'm reborn. Uh, so where do... End up going. I, oh, I was born in a in a in a burning burned house. Nice. I'm I'm just running the outskirts right now, just trying to fucking deal with my excessive exertion. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get someplace that isn't absolutely mobbed in zombies. Well, I'm gonna have to do the. I mean, store the loot. Le left, um, left. Yeah, we're still alive. Not really. Um, we're all on m our second, third, fourth, or fifth character, right? Like that's technically alive. no. I. 
Yeah, Boost was on his seventh. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I'm on my fourth. Currently looking for a hammer or some sort of tool so I can just assemble things. Actually hit them. Yeah, I got like 30 zombies following me. What the f- I'm dead. I'm dead. Absolute bullshit. Hung up on geometry, couldn't move. Absolute fucking bullshit. That was... I'm not happy with that one. Let's just put it that way. Fucking, um, I want fast healer. That means I'm gonna have to track my fucking dumbass down. And cat's eyes, done. Yeah, I didn't give a shit about GTA 5 or GTA 4 or GTA 3 or GTA 2 or GTA 1. So GTA 6 being in development is about as meh for me as it comes. Like, that is the least game I give a shit about, probably. I have, like, a conga line of zombies right in my ass right now, and it's kind of funny. Jesus, I gotta get all the way across that to get my shit back. And I'm gonna be wandering around with a fucking duffel bag, so, like, I gotta fucking... Yeah, God, that shit may be just gone. It got night. It's night time, right? Yes, yeah, so it's night time. Yeah. I think I'm around a place you die, but, like... I can't see anything. I'm like running, looking at the map. I'm just wondering if this game fucking scales. Like this is this is more zombie shit than I have ever had to deal with in a single player run. I I see your I see your zombie here. Kill him. But you're not alone. Oh yeah, there's gonna be fucking swarms. Really? Let's see if I can look something else. Well this is gonna be an extra short life. I don't know how to get out of this area. I am all fenced. How did they? I do see myself playing this game for like hours. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck this character. Yeah, fucking this char dumb fucking character tripped and fell and scratched her stupid foot. Now she's bleeding and limping. Personally, I hope this dumb twat dies. With like random fires in the woods. Yep, she dead. Fuck this cunt. Just everybody, everybody swarm in here. Everybody swarm into this building. You know what? Strategy. Meta. Meta. 
can make them all swarm into the building and set it on fire. Yes, 100%. Now, now we have approximately like 2% of the zones of the map in there. That's, that's, that's yeah, 100%. That's what I'm thinking. Is we might want to fucking just light a fucking fire in a building. And it, just drag zombies to yeah, it. And just fucking trap them in it. Oh, that's... That's... That's an amazingly terrible idea. Let's do it. Um... <laughs> Alright, I'm taking Fit and Cat Eyes. Shh, Buddhist. We, Buddhist said we need to throw them in the ovens. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not touching that one with a barge ball. Alright, I'm equipping, I'm equipping a saucepan as my <laughs> primary weapon. Um, I got a nice house here. Oh no, it's not nice. It's already on fire. <laughs> I think I'm going to take Operation Burn It Down on myself. I'm going to use the Fireman preset to do it. Oh, uh, cool. I didn't spawn in a random mess of zombies this time. Hey, get on the fucking ground already. There we go. I hate the combat system in this game. I, I want to love this game. I want to love this game so bad, but I hate the combat system so badly. Like, it just doesn't connect half the time. you like, they're highlighted. Why is it nothing happening? Because the combat system is janky as fuck. This motherfucker's still on fire? How? How? Where are all these zombies coming from, and why are they never thinning? Like, how many zombies do we have to kill to fucking thin this herd? Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Lovely. Mid swing, already fucking bitten. Scratched. Yeah. See, combat system's irritating as fuck in this game. Just gonna. Yep. Just gonna go in here and fucking try and find some shit. Because. God knows. Really? And this idiot... Yeah, I don't get it. Um... I got, I got a plank here. Take it. Alright. Yeah, I'm worried more about the, the bleeding right now than anything else. Same. Um, can I... Yeah, rip the sheet. Should I clean the sheet before? Because I think I can do that. No. How is this highly critical? I was scratched. It's now terminal damage. I was scratched, and it's terminal damage. This is fitness. This, this character is fit, are they? They got scratched, and now it's highly critical damage. They got scratched, and now they're dead. Yeah. That's that's this game's definition of fitness, apparently. How how do we rest? We just stay here, or can we lay down? Or it fucking in single player, you can sleep. Um, in this game, I don't fucking know. Like, I can right click and rest, and it doesn't really do much. So, oh, you can see me. I don't even know how I get health back. If we try to rest at the same time like all of us like I, in minecraft i've seen it tried and it weirdly just didn't do anything oh, what the fuck is this shit oh fuck me all right you know what? inside try to go out 
At least. Get on the... There. Holy hell, I hit the jackpot of tools. Well, if you get them, make sure to fucking centralize them somewhere. Because if you... De if we basically loot everything and we end up dying with the, all those loot characters, then our, our loot's just wandering around the level. So and We do not need that. Yeah. Die, you stupid fucking cunt. There we go. Sick of hearing these fuckers. Hashtag genocide all zombies. I think, yeah, I s I'm sitting on the floor and it seems to be resting like a bit. Sleep at the same time in multiplayer. Thank you. Cupcake saying that we can sleep at the same time. Okay, so... But it's everybody. Okay. The Buddhist is there? Who's still playing? No, Buddhist left. It's now fucking Caleb, you, uh, yourself, and me. Okay. Caleb, can you find, like, a bad... Caleb, are you alive? I muted my mic because I was having a coughing fit and forgot to unmute it. Yeah, I'm stood next to a bed. It won't let me get into it, though. Me either. Okay, let's, yeah. Same, same. Okay, I'm pressing. It, it, it showed up something. Okay, you're resting, I think. I me. clicked and there's like a bar loading now. Not me. Oh. Oh, I, I think I'm rested. Did, do you see the rest thing? No. Or it, it, it is disappeared? Nope. nope. I did click in the... And I'm not tired anymore. Let, let's try... Let, let me see if I can see the rest button in the in the other bed. Take this one. Yeah, I don't have one. I clicked yeah, rest same. on that I bed. Have... I don't have one. Um, all I know That's is... Weird. This fucking character is probably borked, but... Do they have food? Yeah, uh, well, need a can opener. I don't fucking... God knows where my original can opener is at this point. You know what? I'm not going to touch any of this. I'm not going to touch any of this. Oh, God, my character is going to be all the way over there. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Yeah, it's right in the door there, right? That's so much lost shit. We can go we, there now. We need to get our shit together. Like, we need to fucking coordinate better than this. We can't just be fucking wandering around aimlessly, losing loot over and over and over and over again. So, Mate, we have nothing now, right? Yeah, we have basically nothing. Yeah. Like, so we should just, just go there and try to get their whatever you'll have, like the, the satchel, like the bag and... I mean, there's a fucking crowd of zombies a mile deep over there. So far, I've managed to get clear of zombies and I've got some loot, so... We need to find a place that isn't swarmed by zombies we can actually hold up in. We need to fucking have planks, we need to fucking have hammers, we need to have nails, we need to be able to defend the place. Where are all the fucking zombies all of a sudden? Well, you burned them all. All right, grab the pencil. In there. Yeah, it's like all the way up here, we couldn't find any. That's actually weird. Oh, no, I found some. Never mind.
Yeah, they don't sleep. Fuck off. It's a laundromat. It's a laundromat. Windows are already broken and uh, such a good fucking find. And of course, it's fucking useless because there's like a thousand zombies deep and this door won't open. I'm gonna attract the, the ones from the, the window. Can't climb. No, you went the other way. Of all the shit they model in this game, you can't climb a fucking counter. Why? Just swinging a mess. Just swinging a fucking mess. This character's gonna be dead. Swinging a mess again. Stay down, you stupid pieces of shit. I am all for a, uh, uh, a fucking zombie holocaust. <laughs> like, They're essentially doing that. Straight up. Fucking. Oh, look, a billion fucking zombies. That's it. Oh, this is gonna be. Fun. Yep, I'm fucked. Uh, apparently, you can't bandage yourself as you go. No, great. So I'm gonna miss. Your best bet is to get them when they fall through the window behind you. I just realized the mistake I made. I spawned in Riverside. I'm miles away from you guys. I've said fuck it. Oh, I was muted. Damn it. I was talking a lot. Okay. Weapons fucking shot. Uh, quit primary. Kill me, I'm right outside. Yeah, I'd, I'll work on it, but... <laughs> Just... Working on carving out... As many fucking zombies as I can. At least the shotgun had like a couple rounds in it. All right. Go out with a fucking bang for sure. Um. Yeah, that'll work.
Eat. That's literally the command I told you to do, is eat. What the fuck? Game just glitched. Game just fucking paused, like, mid-swing. Just... Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna kill all you motherfuckers. You are going with me. Dumb cunt causing all this noise. That's what I think it is, by the way. I think it's the zombies banging on the doors and shit. If we don't deal with that, it just draws more zombies. That would make sense. It is. I'm watching it happen right now. If we let the zombies bang on doors and windows, it, it just gathers more zombies. We have to fucking handle that shit right away. All it does is create a fucking horde. Hey, idiots. Yeah, stop banging on shit. Yeah, this character's toast. Alright, well... Yeah, I know, R Nez. Fucking, we're, we're figuring out mechanics as we go. Um, there's a few other people on the map, uh, a couple other people on the map with me right now. Alright, that is, one, next time you die, make sure you spawn into Rosewood. Two, fucking, um, we have to prioritize bangers. We have to. The more noise they make, the fucking faster we're screwed. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. That... Yeah, less panic. Less panic would be great. Fucking dude, that panic shit is just obnoxious. Where am I? All right, done. I know where I am. I'm trying to learn how to reload again. You have to right-click the ammo and insert. anything to remove that glass either oh here's all of our fucking burned out houses uh nez is saying r works as well for reload less prone to panic see zombies for the first Work. time panics i i have serious questions as to whether these traits actually do what these traits say they do <laughs> This house is burned out, and there's a functioning alarm system on it. I just walked inside, and the alarm went off. That did not trigger with the fire. Nope. Amazing. Fantastic. Quality burger alarm we have there. I, I have sincere hold R for a radio menu by the way I have sincere doubts as to some of these the, some of the mechanics and systems in this game I really do also I have doubts about the fucking um, 
zombie respawn being actually set to zero. Great if that fucking opened. There we go. Um, you hear the shot? Oh yeah. Saucepan. Yeah. I'm gonna like shoot outside uh, to see if they will gather around me. Why? Why are you running that direction? I'm literally not pushing that key. I got questions about this game. I got questions. Yeah, I was pushing A, and it was as if W was being pushed. There we go. All right. Now. Yeah, I'll head back there. See if I can't get to my old body. Well, old, old body. And get that satchel back for us. I try to go as well. I will join you in a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna murder a few zombies to let out my pent up frustration on the way. Yeah. Also, hopefully, to fucking get rid of a few enemies on the map. You come here. Attention out. Ah, serious doubt. Doubt some whether a lot of these perks actually work at all. No, I I have sincere questions as to like the efficacy uh, efficacy of like the inconspicuous. Completely doesn't seem like it, it. It absolutely doesn't seem like it does anything at all. All right. So there's my nightstick. I my body's got to be around here somewhere. If I can fucking spot a dude with a Let's see if I can cause some damage here to a few of these guys. It's probably ill-advised, but I'm gonna do it anyway. See if I can't kite some of these people. And I'm toast. Toast. Absolute toast. Swing and a miss, and then they just grab you and you can't do anything about it. You find it, buddy? No. But I'm over by, like, uh, you know. Same place. Same place that the geometry fucked me on the, on the character. On the good character. Um, same place. Absolute shithole. Um, yeah, I, I have, I have my sincere doubts about these traits.
Oh, really? This location? It's like it's got a limited set of places it will spawn you. Because I know a, f we, a few of us have spawned I, there. I got a new one. It was like down a bit, like in a new place for me, but not really far. Does this fire ever go out? It's just spreading. And I'm dead again. It's the entire map. Dude, fucking Nez, if you're still here, you seem like you play this game. Does the fire ever go away? <laughs> or is the light version 1.0 Minecraft? Is it just forever fire now on this map? There's just going to be wandering fire for, for literally ever? Because that seems like a stupid... F it does, but the tom zombies tend to wander. Okay, so it literally is. It's just fucking stupid. Got it. This game just... Holy shit. Alright. Thank you, Daz. Well, according to the community, inconspicuous rating is dubious or debatable at best. So, yeah, everyone seems to agree inconspicuous is a bit shit. Yeah. All right, where the fuck am I? All right. Very good, my ass. Give me the exact metric. Sound, sight, smell, what distance? Is it a roll chance? How does it function, Nez? Because I've seen the fucking math on how this game calculates whether you've been spotted or not. Is it a roll chance? Oh, and is it tile so and is it tile selection based? Because I've seen that this game models that too. It literally, if you're zoomed all the way in versus zoomed all the way out, various things happen. Because if you can't see the tile, they do math based on that as well. Which is fucking stupid. Down, dummy. God, they're inside. You know what? Yeah, unless you sink, sink like six or seven levels into inconspicuous and sneak, it's actually useless. Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna wander around here, kill some zombies. Do do work for my the generations to come. Seriously. Seemingly, actually, one of the best traits is lucky because it's just a flat 10% chance of uh, increase of finding rare loot. Duly noted. And duly noted, Naz. Oh, 
fucking dude finally broke out. Oh, fuck you. Bunch of a crowd. Oh, there's my fucking body, though. Oh, and now I got that whole fucking crew. Guarantee it. deal with four fucking zombies at once and in a weapon. I've just opened up a TV. Oh, dude, did fucking K Nez, this game is the definition of jank. Oh, fuck you. Like this. Like this, Nez. This right here. Fuck this character. Literally just got fucked. Just, just got absolutely raw dogged. Because, yeah, Nez, I don't learn to be patient. So, either deal with my rage towards this game, or deal with my rage towards this game. Because I'm gonna rage at this game. Because, fucking some things you need to fix before you even go to alpha. Let alone f release 41. Well, I'm wiki diving right now, and apparently the two best traits in the game are fast learner and strong. Because flat increased experience across the board and what the fuck is strong do? But I didn't attempt to learn anything so far, so Oh there's no point. You fucking you'll lose your character. There's literally no point in like trying to do any of that at this moment outside of like maybe fucking first aid or something. Get on the ground already. There we go. Oh, we're well beyond character number eight. Fucking. That's. I'm on, I'm on number five. Fucking. I want to love this game, Nez. I want to love this game, but this game has got a level of jank to it that makes it difficult to love. Let's just put it that way. Close the fucking door. Why is he not? There we go. If the character's on the ground, I should be able to stomp them. Just cut my leg in the trees. Yeah, that'll happen. This character's not going to survive, but at least I can do is get it back to, like, some place where... You know, useful. Um, well. 
Um, where? Just a ton of fucking laceration. Just three lacerations. Fucking. <laughs> All because this fucking game decided to right click on a window rather than actually do the combat system. Uh, and how are you exerted? Just sit on the fucking ground. Okay, I'm outside. I'm not gonna go in because, well, I know. drink. <gasps> Terminal fucking damage. This character's toast. Um, who? Jesus Christ, let's just fucking start. Right. Doors just knocked down. Oh, it's lovely. You can, but Jesus Christ, does that fucking overwork that finger? Or that hand? Like, I'm already fucking having to straddle like four or five. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'd fucking, I'd remap it to a mouse button then. If it weren't for the inventory con uh, management system, I'd be playing this game on a fucking controller. Inventory, yeah, I mean, inventory would be possible. Yeah, inventory would be a nightmare. But the fact of the matter is, is that this game fucking its movement is so janky on a keyboard that it like begs for a fucking controller. some of it uh i have a horde here like a little bit behind you let's try to take them away see do you think we should like make her run with the loot to that like downtown and then die uh possibly Is there not? Is there not multi hit? Coming. There's a bunch coming. What happened to my fucking multi hit? Is that uh, do I have to enable that specifically on multiplayer or some shit like that? Nez, because I'm fucking <gasps> toast. Um, let me put all of this shit in a fucking bat. You know, yeah, locker, locker. That's what we're gonna do. Um, transfer it all. Does it make any difference? Like, if you just throw on the floor, do the zombies like will take it? Uh, no, I don't think they take it. You just throw them on the floor. Maybe now we can try to like leave the area, like with the as many zombies as we can. That will be kind of like with a fresh body. It won't be here, I guess. 
right. I'm just gonna. I'm zombies. I'm uh, here. Come, 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 come. All right. Remove, 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 and just fucking die already. I'm taking a bunch of zombies like away from the. Thank you, Naz. The building. I just killed myself. I just unbandaged all my bandages. Yeah, I'm, I managed to take a bunch of zombies with me. All right. Um, you said lucky, right? Yep, lucky. And what else was flat? Fast learner. Okay. Um, Fast learner with the server settings you've got should be super good because you already boosted the XP up and it's a thirty percent increase on top of that. Um, all right, I'm I'm just gonna take lucky and also a lot of the negative traits apparently are like next to uh, like irrelevant anyway. You know what, I like should nothing. get some to get more points. You mean? Yep. I mean, we can get the driver's stuff. The okay. Driver's so, yeah, it just started Sunday me in that. It just started me in the yeah. exact same fucking house I started last time. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this entire fucking neighborhood is just torched. Oh, look, a fire that's still going. Just sitting on a fucking... Oh, on a, on a stone patio... It and it's spreading. This game is fucking the definition of jank. That looks like like this seems like the first one. Yeah. All right. I'm coming back. I'm gonna grab that fucking bag out of um out of the the car tire fucking place. Um. Over the fence already. You know, there was a horde of, like, eight zombies, and I didn't hear them until I walked through the trees and they were there. I'm just saying, that's the sort of thing you would hear. So, from much reading, the best, most basic setup is short-sighted, lucky, and fast learner. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do, but that seems like a very safe build all right i'm gonna fucking do a loop around this building and see if i can't ditch these idiots uh nez do you happen to know how long they hold we hold their attention like is there a timer on that because it seems like we hold their attention basically indefinitely I love that less panicked perk. Already panicked. <laughs> Forgot to change my name. Don't care about any of that. Don't care about any of that. Do it all. Can we take this building as a base? Which building? This one. You are the one you are like oh, gathering I, stuff. I mean, they've already knocked down some like big ass elements of this building. I probably wouldn't go with it. Um, all right, put this on my back, drop that shit, that shit, Jesus Christ, um, can I 
just, yeah, rip all that, drop that. Done. All right. Um, okay. I'm piecing out of that fucking building if I can. Yeah, I've seen the debug data for a fucking session of this. And there's, it's, yeah, sightline and hearing, but there's more to it than that. Fucking, I've, I've seen the, like, marker data for the debug sessions actually drawn before. This game's absurd. All right, fuck this. I'm running. I feel like I could, if it's a hundred tiles... If it's a hundred tiles, and that's what you're telling me, then there's no way I can get my camera out as far as one, two, wait, this is a tile, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, I can't even get my camera out far enough to know if I'm going to attract sightline for them. Like, that seems like a, a thing. Like, that, that, that seems like a problem, like, with, like, inherent in the game design. This is the, this was the store, right? Yeah. Okay. There's two inside here. I'm just grabbing water bottles. Grabbing egg and cheese. Fresh. We'll take some out while we're at it. Here. Oh. I got your back. Come on. Come on. Please fall. It's just not falling. I know, right? It's just it's not even getting green. I don't know. Just... Yeah. Oh, we got a problem. Is it packed outside? Yeah. Okay, it... yeah. It's, Shall we go here inside? Okay. I'm, I'm fucking. There. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna can. try to do the same. I missed the door. Uh, I fell. I'm fucking ditching. You got it. I don't know how, but I'm gonna. What about hearing, Nez? Well. I mean, can't they hear that? Hey, look! It's the never-ending fire. On on pavement, by the way, on pavement, the never-ending fire. Oh no! Oh, there's a... not good. This this game just keeps this game just keeps burning things, like for no reason. Like, it's literally just burning cement indefinitely. I'm just saying that seems like that's some janky ass shit. All right, you, homie, come here. One down. Yeah, all you're doing is pushing him at me. All right. Yeah, controlled fires are a good way to get rid of uh, hordes. Hey, you know what I've noticed about fire in this game? It's anything but controlled. 
There's literally fire on cement. What the fuck? I've, I've seen a fair amount of fires in my day, but, you know, outside of, like, what, chlorine trichloride, uh, was it uh, glycerine trichloride or something like that? I haven't seen much cement catch fire. Takes a while to kill it. Chlorine trifluoride. Thank you, Caboose. Yeah, like outside of something like that, I, I haven't seen much cement catch fire. Like, it, this seems like a fundamental limitation. Oh, well, there's a generator there. Yeah, well, a lot of good it'll do for us. But I'm just gonna. Well, we've got a couple at a fucking chance here. Might as well. Oh, it's you, Caleb. Might as well murder some zombies. Because God knows there's enough of them on this map. Yep, that's too many. And that fucker managed to get up. And for a character with fitness and strength perks, I'm just saying they get exerted way too easy. As someone who works out religiously, this game models fitness incorrectly. Let's see if I can drink water here. They they bother modeling all sorts of insane things, but they don't model humans correctly. Careful, there is a zombie in the back. Yeah. This seems to be like a small but like easy to clover house. Maybe. Uh, a fair amount of books, too. Um, all right, where are you? Oh, you're in. Yeah, you're literally in here. Oh, shit. All right. Yeah, we're. I'm okay, sorry. just. On the ground, cunt. There we go. Die. Die. Yeah, okay, let and. Me try to... Like, there seems to be, like. We could, um... Oh, when you grab a corpse, it actually disappears. Yeah. And how do I drop it? Just right-click again. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've heard worse help. ideas than, like, screwing up this house. There's another one dead. I'm all for genociding zombies. Really? All right, well, there's an open door. Fuck it. Jesus Christ, look at this. F it just doesn't seem like you can get a fucking moment's piece. Which explains to me why I would be good in the zombie apocalypse, because I have many, many, many rounds of ammunition, and I would just spray these, gr these hordes until the job was done. And our neighborhood were, was at peace. Come on. Where's my screwdriver? You know, in a real world zombie apocalypse, if it works like anything like zombie myths, it'd be over inside of six months. Yeah, we'd fucking handle it, and their rate of contagion would not meet our rate of <clears throat> handling. Plus, if you live anywhere really hot or really cold, it'd be over even quicker. Yeah, here in the desert, summer, summer in Las Vegas, 120 degrees. I say we stake claim to the house we were just in. All right, 
Oh, fuck you. Uh, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. Should we stay in this small house here? Uh, yeah, the one we were just in, the reason I say that is because there's that giant blue place of yeah. stuff. Like, two minutes away. We can do supply runs to it. No, okay. if fucking non-binary? No, if fucking they went full zombie like this? Are you shitting me? We wouldn't even fucking, there would be no conversation about the rights of fucking people with, with whatever <laughs> zombie bullshit it is. We'd fucking put a bullet in their brain and we'd call it a day. We'd have literally like camps set up to deal with the corpses inside of a week. Yeah. Like this would be a non-issue. There would, if fucking, you show me a fucking zombie plague denier and I'll just show you somebody who's dead. <laughs> All right, that's that's how that will fucking go down. We would not play that game. I wonder if there's a pen around here so I can mark my map. Can I eat fresh frozen fucking unhappiness? Yeah, put, grab it and fucking let it thaw. The house on the other side is like slightly bigger, right? Yeah, that's infected. Fucking ah, uh, fucking a. Clean rags, all. I'm fucking. I'm just bleeding out here. Fucking. This character's fucked. Here, come here. Um. All right, one. I'm gonna put this in there. I'm gonna put this in there. Um. All right. Transfer. Just put all this shit in there. I'm going to give you my duffel bag. Okay. Um, I think we should stick to this. Uh, maybe the other house, I think it's smaller. Or, but, but this one has an oven, so. Um, okay, like here? I think, think I think this one is better. Yeah, the, the other one doesn't have a, an oven and a oh, well then, like fridge. Well, let me see. Hang on. Let me just. We should stay with this one. Okay, so go, go down uh, in the other house. Uh, I'm just gonna hang on. I'm just gonna unequip this bag and then I'm gonna put the bag in this chest. I'm gonna put this in this chest. I kinda like these boots. Um, and then I'm going to just remove these bandages. Fucking, there we go. Come on, no, let's, go to the, let's go to the other house. There's like, yeah, more that's, stuff in that's, there. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> well, this house has a microwave. No, 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 I'm getting, you're, you're going to die there, right? Yes. And then you're going to come back. Okay, fair. We're just going to wait in this house, in, in that house there. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking Caleb. bleed this character Let's... out and get rid of this fucking. Uh... Caleb, I think the other house is like better. Which other house? The other one down. It's just oh, the oh. neighbor one. Let me uh, take all the stuff off. There we go. Yeah. About fucking time. Uh, come over and make and sure this fucker doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Thank you. Now you're back alive. And then you bit me. And the right arm. Sorry. Not going down without a fight. Come on, man. Die. Okay. All right. Here, Dad. Oh, rip cheat. And I'm gonna grab your body and take it away from here. All right. Um, I will be back momentarily. Okay. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Really? Yeah, dude, they're they're spawning me like they honestly this game has spawned me in this like the same general location multiple times. It it has yet to like actually toss me somewhere. I've spawned in the same house probably three times now. I've spawned in the same house at least three or four foot times myself. Yeah. Like it, it just doesn't have many options, frankly. Um, all right, so 
So this is our house. All right, hold on. Let me. I guess we can say that. Equip that. Finally. All right. Which one is our house? Caleb. This, this one? No, this one is better. Caleb, where are you? I'm going to the one just down. I was raiding the last one. Okay, I'm going to remove the broken glass. And that should be the good house. I'm gonna close the cur pick up the broken glass, which, by the way, close you can spread the around as like a trap. Um, close the curtains. I'll take the plank over to there. Do I have any nails? I don't think I have any nails. I have a screwdriver, which I don't think it's worth anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go disassemble some furniture. Uh, close. Be sure to like keep the curtains closed. Yeah, I closed one here. Let me close the, the bathroom one. Yeah. Hang on. Uh, close. There's planks in this cupboard next to me. I'll just put them in there. Okay, I will take the planks. Um, oh, you put them on the ground, not in the cupboard. Just if I. Uh, the, uh, the the weird checkerboard tile is the ground. Yeah, I'll work that out now. Come on. I got the planks. Don't worry about it. I fucking grabbed them off the floor. Um, and is there anything on the open open curtain? Nope. Okay, cool. Um, then most of those curtains are closed. I don't know about that back one, but. I'm just putting all of the magazines and stuff I've gathered in this cupboard so I can just go do more supply runs. Okay, I'm I'm going to just make a... I'm going to start... Hmm, do I have a saw? I had a saw. Uh, I have a saw. There's a, there's a garden saw in the cupboard next to me. I'll just put one in there. Does anybody have an axe is the question. No, that's what I'm after next. Yeah, I, I, we need to. I need to start disassembling stuff, and that'll possibly get us nails and planks and that sort of thing. But if we had uh, an axe, and a, what the fuck? Why is I? How can you safely pick up glass? Then, do I need gloves? Is that the deal? I need fucking tweezers. If anybody finds a pair of tweezers now. Goddamn Christ, this fucking game, I swear to God. Because <laughs> I can pick up glass myself in real life without fucking getting shards lodged in my hand to the point where I need tweezers and shit and forceps to get them out. So I'm just saying, you know, maybe calm down with the modeling shit a little bit. Got some planks and screws. Need nails. How is this fucking I wouldn't come in here if I were you. Do we noted? Oh yeah, I definitely want to come in here from you. We need guns. I'm not. I'm gonna not go in then. Um, I'm crossing the road down to see if I find like a house, but it seems to be all all trees there. and zombies. All right. 
I'm gonna come Which back. I was like happy that I was not encountering a zombie like for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna come back and fucking deload. Um, it's not safe, but the, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Um, it's not safe, but the firehouse is almost guaranteed to have a fucking ax. Um, okay. Forging. Oh, carpentry for beginners. I need to read that. Um, all right. I'm going to put planks in there. Store. Yeah, I thought it wasn't really worth me reading the magazines because I don't know what I'm doing anyway. So I'd yeah, I'm gonna you guys. I'm gonna get the carpentry for beginners because that will affect that uh, roll chance. We need a uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we this is <laughs> we fucked up so bad in the beginning. Um, we need um, we need a can opener. Um. Because can yeah, I'm looking for kitchen stuff now. I'm raiding the local houses. Yeah. All right, there's that. All right, these have no weight to them. Cool. All right. Um. Ham, ice cream. I can go in there. Oh, for fuck's sake! I swear to God. There. Like in the next house now, getting some food, getting a lot of food actually. Um, I've got three water bottles here, so we can each like uh, carry one on us. That would. I got a can opener. Nice. There we go. Now we're go now we're doing some shit. Um. And a lot of canned uh, food as well, so that's that's good. There's definitely a zombie around here, but I just don't know where. It's dark. Um, I'm gonna go back to the house and bring the bring stuff. Cool. Do a little. Little inventory management here. I want to fucking. We don't need this shit in there. Um, let's move that. I mean, I'll take that out of there. All right, let's do that. And then I'm going to put, like, in this corner cabinet, let's put all the, like, canned food and shit like that. Um, there'll be a fork and some dog food in it. In, in the meantime and I'm putting like books planks duct tape that sort of stuff in this end one by the sink it's the one that you put the dog food right yes yeah just put okay, all the fair. can put all the canned stuff in there okay I will put the can opener there as well yeah it sounds like a plan um Rip all. And if anybody finds tweezers, let me know. Grab them and then let me know, please. I don't really, really know what tweezer is. What do you mean? Like, I mean, the language. <laughs> I mean, just. I, I'm not an English native English speaker. A little, little, little metal thing with, that you can grab stuff with. Okay, fair, fair, got it. But it will be T W E E Z E R on the screen. Okay. Here we need an we need an axe to take down some trees, and then we've got a couple of saws to make planks. So that's a non-issue. I mean, credit where credit's due. This this fucking TV I'm survived put some the house pasta fire. with the cans. Yeah, that's yeah. Just put all the like dry food, everything in there. Fucking, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Um, that makes perfect sense. Crackers. We can we can build more storage once we've got that 
sort of shit going. I forgot to eat. I'm like packed with food, but I'm not eating. Why? I think I might be dead. Grab that as well. All right. And then grab all that. And drink. And fill the water bottle. Cool. All right. I assume that no zombies are like just going to randomly come around here if we don't make much noise, right? It, if we keep this area quiet and we eliminate anybody who fucking even looks at us funny, then ideally this area should stay fairly calm. Like that. I'll be back in a minute. I need coffee. Like real coffee, right? Yeah, in real life. Okay. It's three in the morning here. I don't think I can drink that. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and there is a difference between the refrigerator and the freezer. So. Oh. Mm hmm. So I think I should. The meat should be frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Till we need it. Yeah, ice cream should be frozen as well, I guess. Um, frozen peas and meat. There we go. And then the lemon. Oh, there we go. That goes in there. Flour. Uh, flour. Just put it in the cat dry yeah. cat dry cabinet, I guess. All right. That's there. Uh, chocolate as well. I think I, I can. We can keep one small food item, right, with us. Oh yeah, fucking dude. Yeah, keep some shit with you if you if you want to like have the the weight. Go for it. Um, I am going to begin reading the carpentry for beginners. That's going to take my character a minute to do. You know what? Fucking all right. Get up. Stop doing that. Clean. Gonna wash some bandages. Oh God! Yeah, this fucking this this fucking wound. <laughs> swear to God, because <laughs> I picked up some fucking goddamn glass. Because my character is too functionally retarded to be able to pick up glass without just like jabbing it into their hand. A line. I guess it's if we need to sue something. Scissors. Also there. <laughs> uh. There is a couch there, and you're sitting on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> um. Jesus Christ, this is a fucking slow going on this one. Yeah, Kavas, you mean the pluck pluck? Yes, <laughs> the pluck pluck for the tweezers. Um, While you're doing that, I'm going to read some magazine. The magazine will um, reduce boredom. If you've got a boredom marker, then you should read the magazine. Uh, well, it depends on the magazine. If it's like a skills magazine, then yeah. But if it's just like generally a magazine, that will reduce boredom. But if you're not bored, then, you know. Yeah. Uh, what should I eat? God, this is, dude, this is fucking ridiculous. It's it's maybe a sixth or a seventh of the way there. 
<laughs> Maybe a fifth for Lucky. Lock in. Yeah. Um yeah, es uh, Esk and I are in in the house. Uh Caleb's out in the field somewhere. He's getting coffee in real life. But he's somewhere his character is somewhere out in the fucking map right now. Yeah, after after we fucked up for like 2 hours straight. We man we managed to like pull our collective heads out of our asses, stop fucking up epically, so we could at least find a hovel. <laughs> and now we have a home. Yeah. With a lot of dog food. Well, I de dog. ideally I'd love to fucking take that um fire station. There's so much good shit in it. Um multiple beds and entertainment area, a workout area because you got to work out for your characters, right? If you want to increase your strength and shit like that, like you got to work out. Okay. This game has everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's got like all of that sort of stuff. It's got, you know, yeah. Uh, like it's got a space that we could technically park a vehicle in. Um, dude, nonsense. This game is fucking dumb as shit. It's still burning. Dude, on our way to find this house nonsense, there was a patch of fire spreading across cement. And it's just it's still burning. Just burning, burning. Like I'm this just gonna read mechanics. Hey. While you're doing that. Yeah, might as well. I'm it fuck it, yeah. Like uh let's see. Pages hundred and thirty eight out of two hundred and twenty for carpentry for beginners. It wasn't me nonsense. I didn't leave anything on. <laughs> yeah, this this game this game has got some levels of jank. I love the degree to which they model, but I also hate this game's combat system with a passion at this point. Um and frankly, um yeah, some of the things they model and don't mo they've chosen to model and not model are fucking stupid. Um, I, I, my character cannot pick up a piece of glass without like it, just jabbing it into their fucking palm. Apparently like that's just fucking, there is no careful picking up of glass in this game. It's just like fucking sweeping up glass with your fucking hand. Like you're a fucking idiot. Uh, I mean, it's probably still thousands that, nonsense. I mean, they're probably say like, Oh, it's too hard to model the combat let's just model every possible other thing that we can yeah the just left the combat out <laughs> combat's just janky as fuck yeah dude there's thousands nonsense luckily i have them on no respawn so like yeah so even if we commit zombie genocide in our corner of the world rosewood is one of the like smaller town calm areas so if we can establish ourselves here then no i do not nonsense then what we can do is like we could get a vehicle and we could drive to like the big city where they are concentrated to the nth degree oh, oh. yeah so like yeah we can go elsewhere like we'll move to the other four three cities i guess yeah okay that's fine yeah so even if we commit zombie genocide in this location it doesn't matter. Like, there's still so many fucking zombies left. All right, what do I got? What do I got? Oh, seven more pages. Seven more pages, and then I've, I'm, I'm a beginner. I have read Carpentry for Beginners. There we go. Carpentry. Um, 60 out of 220. All right. Where's that? There we go. We'll move that over there. Somebody else can read it if they need to or they want to. And then I am, oh, I'm hungry. 
which makes sense. I just read a 220 page book. It says here it's nine in the morning, nine forty. Yeah. Let me eat yeah. this. Let me eat this ham. So I have a watch. Okay. Um, close that and drink. All right. I'm going to go disassemble some fucking chairs and shit and see what I can get. Can I... I they have a saw in, 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 in the house there. Yeah. No. Like, I, I was like, I had one. But. Yeah, it's in the thing. There we go. Coming back for the saw. If I stop reading now, will I, like, save progress? In yeah, the yeah. You, you, okay, you, fair. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Don't, you don't reset. There we go. Grab one. One saw. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't make you have a fucking, um, like a bookmark for your book. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, oh, nope. Without the bookmark, you fucking lose your place. Wait a second. Okay, one. Take the key. Uh, nope. Uh, did that not... Did I move before the... I moved before the fucking inventory transferred. Dude, that is my biggest fucking, like, fuck up on a regular basis. There we go. I'm gonna take down these fucking uh, dog houses. See if this attracts anybody. I needed a saw to take these apart, but I'm hammering them. Failed to produce any usable materials. Oh god, there's only a 17% chance on this shit. It's going up though. Since I'm gonna be a mechanic, I shall take those car parts. Alright, I got some planks, I got some nails. Let's put those in the bag. Oh, I I got a wrench, and I broke my um, my screwdriver, and Oof. I think I might not be able to fix it. Uh, Bad. That's not all right. Okay, it's not a good idea to put the tire in the in the kitchen things because it takes a lot of space. Um, okay. Um, oh, I can't, I just can't disassemble it because it has shit. I'll drop that on the ground. She's a butter knife, I know, right? I'll see if I can disassemble the car somehow. Oh, tell me that was a thing. Hang on. Yes, first level carpentry unlocked. All right, we're 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 fucking doing some stuff now. Like this character can't die. <laughs> like we need we need this character to not die. <laughs> uh, drop that on the ground. And 
this is yeah that's electrical oh, for fuck's sake okay stop that they're you, already their UI is a little janky too for sure okay so grab it and then fucking toss it on the ground Oh, yeah, fucking Al's dead nonsense. Fucking Al got screwed. <laughs> Al got fucking screwed. This game, this game's geometry completely fucked Al. Failed to produce. Um, okay. Oh, God. You know what? Fuck that. Um, enjoy your broken glass. Show your dirty rags. Mm, I got a light bulb. All right. So I have planks, some nails. All right. Yeah, we're doing this. Is it worth trying to fix the car? No. Um, not, not what, not in that condition. It's better off finding a better car and fixing any of the small things that need fixing, not a fucking junker like that. Fair. Um, yeah, I had some planks here. <laughs> Am I out of nails though? I think I'm out of nails. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, um. All right, I'm gonna go get some fucking. If anybody finds a box of nails, holy shit! Like, right? Can we go loot some someplace? Um, I'm just disassembling shit in the general area, uh, to try and get one my carpentry skill ground up a little bit, and two to find us planks and nails because we can't produce our planks yet. We don't have an axe. Um, so yeah, we need, we need nails to like barricade and we need, we need planks and nails to barricade shit up. So these fuckers don't smash through the, the windows. Most of our windows are curtained, so they won't be attracted to us necessarily, but there is that bathroom window that is completely uncurtained. Um, the bathroom, yeah, the bathroom has a curtain. Are we certain on that? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Can you close the curtain, please and thank you? It is closed. Okay. Um, oh, oh, fucking hate the movement in this game. I'm going to say the, the bedroom one as well. Isometric okay. with, yeah. isometric with WASD is fucking weird to move in. I'm literally standing next to this fucking door and it won't close with the E key. <sighs> oh, yeah, no, sorry. It was the bedroom um, that I was barricading. Um, does this... All right, so nails and planks to my inventory. Or maybe not. I think I'm going to be on operation try and find an axe. Okay, so okay. it looks like. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Fucking. All right. Yeah, okay. So that seems barricaded. Oh, no. You put like two planks? Uh, let's planks. see. Okay. Um, weird. 
open curtains, close curtains. What the fuck is this thing bitching at me about now? All right, well, fine. Dude, it doesn't take that long to put a fucking plank of wood away. You just drop it. <laughs> like, in real life. <laughs> I can fucking get rid of a plank of wood pretty quickly. Um, all right. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we need to start getting better fucking weapons, too. A fire axe goes, is a nice fucking weapon. I've rocked uh, one of those before. I think I saw one in the past, like, in a, in a zombie's back. Okay, first aid for beginners. There we go. So once we start collecting everything, then if we, you know, leave it at the house, then if we have a character die, as fucking a pain in the ass as that is, after you ground up a, a bunch of, like, levels, it at least means, you know, all your books and everything is right there. You can go back and... Start over. Alright. No, we didn't find any fire extinguishers. Let's see if I can remove the broken glass using this hammer and not use my fucking hand like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I just found a bunch of fucking canned food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to eat the pear. But there will come a day in this game when the electricity and the water shut off, by the way. And we're fucked. Yeah, then you have to build rain catches, and you have to build, like, yeah. Like, you gotta plumb shit, and you gotta set up uh, generators. Uh, I have an entire box of screws. Uh, uh, well, uh, the nails are what we need right now, but fucking, we will need those good on. I found a house in the middle of but fuck nowhere, so I'm just ransacking it. Oh, you know what? Do I have a pen or a pencil or something? Um, oh, I don't have a pen or pencil on me because this character is functionally useless. On your map, if, you, if you're carrying a pen or a pencil or that sort of thing, start ma marking houses after you loot them. Oh, so much food. Where is it? 
does it keep doing that? I mean, Karina, yeah, like there's there's a, a stratagem for that. Like literally cooking pots, every cooking <laughs> pot you find, you grab, and then you fucking start stockpiling water for the moment that that happens. You can also, I think, fill bathtubs. Like you could start planning for your water loss ahead of time for sure. But right now, like... <laughs> Right now, we don't have very much idea what we're doing anyway. Um. There. One's on me down. I just got a bunch of fucking food, though. So. Oh, let's see. Trapping for beginners and intermediates. Take them what both. What is that? Take them both. Trapping? Both. Yeah. Catching animals with like snares oh, okay. and traps. Fair. Yeah, that sort of thing. Um, meat, meat. Yeah, there's there's farming as well. <laughs> so you, you have to like you start growing your own food and shit like that and yeah, it's it's a whole thing. It's uh let's see. We have a lot of food. Yeah, we do. Um we have a decent amount right now. Um Look at look at the fridge. Like, no, I know. Just... I just have been dumping stuff. <laughs> Trust me. I know. It's um, all right, so I think I found, where did I put it? Oh, wow. Well, you know what? I'm just going to eat a fucking zucchini. Um, all right, there's, okay, I already had like trapping for beginners, but you know what? I'm going to fucking drop it in there. Um, and then first aid for beginners, I'm going to read. Gotta finish the mechanic one. Actually, I'm gonna cook something. We dealt with everything. Um, start the stock exchange. Y'all need to invent capitalism. That'll solve everything. Start the stock exchange. <laughs> oh. Oh. How did I? <clears throat> it's. I mean, it's been popular, but um, I know uh, Rito. And Wander and the Wholesome Verse crew are doing a multiplayer playthrough right now, so that could explain for like some of the uptick. Um, and fucking, you know, it's still janky as fuck, but it's not nearly as janky as it was when it was released, for sure. So, come on, you you. I thought it wasn't Zoom because you're different. You look different. Um, all right, so that's just... So, uh, this character is basically dead. So I'm just going to dump everything he has on the floor here. Okay. And go and beat some zombies to death with my final breath. Cool. 
we'll hold down the fort and watch your shit for 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 your your descendants. <laughs> well, that's the role I've decided to take for myself. I'm just going to get as much useful stuff per life as possible and then ming. Um I Karina, not that I'm aware of. I but that's not something I keep an eye on. Yeah, an iPod. Do they still make iPods? No, just buy they they don't still make iPods, but the iPod classics you can put like one terabyte SSDs in these days. Yeah. So there you go, Karina. Shout, shout out to Elite Obsolete if you want iPod custom stuff. They're a piece of piss to take apart and modify and do whatever you want to as well. I recently bought two. You know what? I'm gonna go get some um, fucking food like meat and shit like that thawing and starting. So I have it. I will be right back. My character is just gonna be on the, the ground reading. Uh, yeah, an iPod Touch, but they're terrible memory sizes.
Hey, I'm actually done for fucking reading. Holy shit. All right. Um. All right. That's fucking. At least there. First aid's up. God knows I end up having to heal these characters enough. Uh, first aid for beginners. There we go. Um. All right, light bulb can go over there. Don't suppose anyone's managed to find an axe yet, have they? Nope. Uh, I mean, I know where we can find one, but <laughs> it's not an easy get. All right, there's that. Skills. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see if this is still infected or not. No. All right, cool. This character's actually healed. Holy shit. All right. Um, drink. Wash. Ah, interesting, Karina. Yeah. Um, oh, wash myself now. Handy guide on how to get an axe. Um, apparently you can craft one. You forage up uh, some right-click a forageable area of grassland and select forage. Um, that may have changed. Um, but then you need tree branches and chipped stone. Um, and then you can craft an axe. All right, am I? I'm drink. I, I'm all drank up, and I'm all. All right. What's my inventory look like? I think I will head out. Shall we do like a a run, and then I will head out later. After that, what do you think? Uh, wait. So I can do like a run together, like to to some place together, like some important shit, and then I'll leave. Uh, okay. And then you're Maybe again, like the three of us can go yeah. do some play um, together. Right. All right. Let me, I kind of want to take it. I, I kind of want to be a little cautious with this character, or like your character and my character. Now that we've been reading, um, don't want to fucking risk murdering our characters. Um, so let's see. Hang on. Let me consult the map. Let me get like A2 at least to not die because I, I don't even have a screwdriver anymore. It broke. Yeah, let me. Um, do we what have do we any? Have here? We don't have anything to write with in this house either. A to write? I have. Take it. Put in the floor a pen. Thank you. I'm going to start marking these uh, houses that are like looted. I think you can use a wrench, maybe, to mash people. I don't you know. Can it's you know. I. Uh, oh, I need to drink water. Uh, Wait. Go do your thing. Before we go. Just hang. Uh, just head left. Oh, when you come out. I can. All right. Bam. This house is fucking looted. Now, what I want to know is... At some point, like, I forgot that zombie skin. Okay. Show up. Cool. All right. I can disassemble doors and shit, too. That'll that'll count. Let's just start working our way up this line of houses that we've kind of, like, burned and bombed out. We'll... Um, looking at the map, what I think... Uh, we'll just clear this general area and make sure we have... 
got what can be gotten. Um, all right. uh, Nothing. There's a zone outside there. There's a book here. Yeah. But I just. Did. Yeah. Doesn't Which matter. If it's sure. if it's not a book with a specific thing attached to it. It's useless. Well, I mean, it's not useless, useless, but yeah, it's for at present, yeah, it's useless. There we go. All right, let me mark this house. Um I mean, Karina, that's up to you. I'm going to have to take a break at some point. All right, I'm just headed left now. Um, I can see. We'll have to take a break eventually. I'm going to have to make food. I would, pref I would prefer you not to risk low funds. <laughs> but that's your decision to make. You know what? I'm gonna fucking do it. Um, right click, disassemble, fancy white wardrobe. Let's see if we can't get some nails out of this shit. Nothing here. Nothing in the kitchen as well. Yeah, just cool. Empty. Got some nails. Got some planks. I'm just gonna fill my duffel with some planks. Um, yeah, I think we can start a plank pile or some shit back that the house too. All right. Um, all right. You cleared the house. Mm -hmm. I think I've I've been here before, but I didn't mark it. Cool. Marking. Uh, let's just, you know what? Let's clear our neighborhood. Let's head down on the map. No, that those two houses I've also cleaned as well. You have. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about these? I mean, you didn't disassemble anything. You just what about stuff. these like outlier garages? Did you sweep those? Uh, no, I don't think I did the, the garages. All right, then let's. Because I, I would need to like break. Uh, yeah, let's sorry. go give them a second sweep then. Just let's clear our neighbor, our direct neighborhood first and just make sure. I also love to find some... Well, not night. Would love to find some actual weaponry too. Just a heads up to that foraging thing you were talking about earlier has been changed. It's the magnifying glass on the left hand side. You click that and you press uh, search area and you can find stuff right. on the floor. Smash in the window. I thought there was another garage here. There was, there was a... Oh, wait, hang on. Did I see that? Nothing good? Yeah, come get a metal pipe as a weapon. Nice. Um, oh, there's a generator there as well. Yep. Gonna fucking mark it. There's that. Um, cupboard, cupboard. And you know what? Grab this. I'll grab the extra metal pipe just in case. Oh, I thought I I thought it was a bug. Like I had one in my hand and the other one was there. I thought it was just no. There was insane. just a, there was just a stack of them. That's all. Um. All right. There we go. <laughs> I'm already near capacity. I think this garage does not have a win Okay, there is a window in the back. So? 
So there's a chance of opening, like just by trying to open. Uh huh. Oh yeah, there is. I got it. Um, Gas can, but empty. Oh, grab it. Got it. Um, yeah, because that's how we get. That. That's how we get gas from cars and shit for for generators. You gotta have a can. Nice. So that's done. And just make sure. Yeah, you fucking nailed this place. All right. Um, marking. I'm eating. Cool. Oh, is that okay? Yeah, let me. You know what? Fucking grab one of these corpses with me. Let's just. I can't see shit. I'm just gonna fucking walk him over here and just get him a distance from the house. Drop the corpse. Done. Yeah. Once they start like having flies around them, it increases our like infection rates and shit like that. Okay, so let me give back the cans. All right, let's see. Why do I? Is there a trash can here? I mean, not directly right here. No. Like where I'm standing, there's like a one of the. Like the places to put stuff, it's a trash can. Interesting. Which is weird. Uh, I'm just gonna dump these planks. House key? Did you drop like a house key? N uh, no, oh, 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 that's fucking, uh, that's probably Caleb's stuff. What you're looking at. Oh. House key. I oh, found wow. an intermediate carpentry book. Uh, oh, nice. shit. Yeah, bring that back. Mechanicals. You know what? I'll so I should. I'm the northeast though at the moment. So I'm going to log off. So I should give some stuff out of my body back, right? If, the, the, give me one need. second. Let me see if I can. Actually, um, there's not many stuff. I need. Nails, anyway. planks. Oh, carpentry went out of three. I need. Holy shit. I need level three carpentry to build a fucking wooden crate. Dude. I. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I put a jack here, like a car jack. Um, let me see if there's any, like, like the use silly here. Um, like use this desk line. over here. Oh no, wait, this is not a desk. Yeah, that's. I cannot put anything there. Okay. Um, and me... neither here, I guess, because the other one is just over here. A tire in there. Yeah, you just I put a tire. Um. Oh, fucking. I'll just put everything in the full. <laughs> Yeah, like we don't. I guess that's fine. Yeah, take pick a take a spot that fucking makes sense for you, um, and ditch whatever you want to ditch, and keep whatever you want to keep. Um, need to be able to fucking. There we go. Um, frying pan. I just want to ditch like stuff that you guys might need when I'm off. My body's not gonna be there, right? Or is it? No. When I log off, okay. No, no. Because like. No, you keep your rust, character. You'll and keep, then when you log off, they yeah. can just take stuff from your body. Yeah, you'll 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 still have your stuff. Um, all right, nails. Yeah, I don't have anything else that is important. Let me just drink some water first. Okay, that's thirteen. There's nine. All right. Um. The cupboard is officially full. All right. Okay, I'm out. Uh, it's four. I need to sleep. But thank you a lot. It was fun. You're welcome. Um, and yeah, we'll probably we'll we'll find more time to play more. Fucking mm -hmm. sort of situation. Yeah, I'll be around. I'm I'm on vacation up until the end of the month, so I, I'm I can stay around. All right. Play more. Cool. All right, man. See you all. Have a good night. Bye, chat. Okay. Bye, guy. Uh, clip that as a primary. That means my hammer doesn't have to be my primary. It means I don't have to wear my fucking hammer down. Oh, all right.
drink. And what do we have in the... Oh, we have cooked bacon. All right. Eat... Wait, hang on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck this game. This game is modeled completely incorrectly. Apparently eating just a just bacon, fresh cooked bacon, increases your unhappiness. Someone somewhere is a vegan. Confirmed. Yeah. Whoever did who fucking whoever designed this game is a fucking vegan and they suck. That is that is the stupidest shit I've seen in a while. <laughs> oh man, how have I been playing this for like four hours already? Kai, this is all your fault. This game, dude. I I want this game to be. Like I, I like I said, I really want to be good at this game. I really want to love this game just because of like all of the detail. Like there's so many games that don't go in, into this kind of detail. And I appreciate that sort of thing, but this game is infuriating. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I think I cleared these, but I can't. Uh, you know what? Fucking what is it? Eleven twenty one. Uh, you want to call it here? Yeah, might as well. You want to try and get back to the house or not? Uh, I am a great distance away off to the northeast. Tell you what, why don't you try and get back? And I'm just going to take a little exploratory poke, um, somewhere. Yeah, all right, give me a second. Yeah, take your time. Just going to, there's a, there's a big ass thing over here. I think it's a school. I don't know. There's a big ass thing over here and I want to see what it is. Yeah, I think this is an elementary school. Now, props if this game has zombie kids. Fucking everybody's always a pussy about that shit. Uh, no, but that place is full of zombies if it's where I think it is. Is that just over the rug from the house effectively? Yes. Yeah, it's full of fucking zombies. All right, yeah, that's the one thing Dying Light didn't shy away from was fucking zombie toddler and shit like that. I was like, respect. <laughs> now, I wonder if I can lead these fuckers out one by one. If I can bait them, like I just did that, dude. There's, that three... Four? There's four right there. Uh, fire control, combat, sneak, aim, rack. Right. That house is well and rated for everything it's worth. Um. Hmm. I wonder if this will attract them. Yes, it did. All right. making progress we're clearing we're clearing make a little noise get their attention make a little noise get their attention you know hey over here dummy Mm-hmm. 
Where did this dummy go? There he is. Oh, Karina, I'd, I'm just doing a service to mankind. First aid for intermediates. And grab. Trying to lose this mass of zombies before I get to the house. Yes, please do. <laughs> Rather die than bring them all back. <gasps> Library. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you just got all the books. All the books. Just all the books. Just all the books. All right. Sort of out at the house. Wait, even the farming magazine is a skill book? All right. Fucking uh, advanced first aid, metalworking. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just, this is just everything. Well, that's what I've been looking for, the books. Listen, Zomboy, if there's only one of you, you're just going to get your... Oh, I don't... Why is my inventory so fucking weighted down, even with... Alright. Alright, what, what, can we sort some of this shit? Um, yeah, none of these are duplicates. Holy shit. Dude, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take and take and take. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. What I'm gonna do is consolidate on a shelf. Jesus Christ, it takes forever. It takes, why does it take so long to take these out of your inventory? Oh no, there's, there's still zombies on fire back here. Wait, no, that's a good thing. I'm assuming dying zombies die, of, uh, burning zombies die eventually, right? I, I mean, I hope so. Like, based off of what I've fucking seen, though. Well, right. I don't think I'm going to make it back to the house, but I'm just going to try and make as many of these zombies burn as possible. I would not, just because it t they tend to spread it to the, like, community. Well, this area is already on fire anyway, so... Good. Sheep dog these around and bring them back to the same place they were on fire. Um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, dude, I'm gonna see if we can't secure this place. Oh, tell me, I just found. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, one, keep that up. Two, <laughs> all right, cool. And, yep, okay. Dude, we may be moving house. Bathrooms, nursing. Oh, God, yeah, dude. I think I ventured out a bit too far on that mission. We need an oven in this place, and we would be golden. 
it's like every book we need to make ourselves fucking OP super le- like supermen. There's a sink. Cleaning products, antibiotics. Oh, there's an entire wall knocked down though. Oh, I mean, we could build a wall there though. Hang on. Carpentry, wall. Yeah, I just need to learn more carpentry. And then we could just fucking replace that wall. But it hasn't got a cook or any cooking facilities in there. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, we're gonna have to replace. Okay, so uh, this is gonna be a, this would be a group decision sort of situation. We can move the oven. <laughs> we can install stuff like that too. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, the fucking principal's got a radio in his desk. Uh, <clears throat> um, yeah. Fucking oh, dude, we could we we could technically reconstruct this building. I don't know if it's worth it, but it's doable. Um, the library alone is potentially worth like fighting this building for fight uh is worth like fighting for this building um what's up endless we're just wrapping up a session of Project Zomboid here. How you doing, my man? How'd you guys? What'd you guys get up to? You play some more uh, Mortal Kombat? Oh, can I not get in that way? Oh my! Yes, it's got a cooker. <laughs> We've got multiple industrial refrigerators, like industrial stoves. We've got, yeah, this place, like if we fixed this place up, we'd have to replace a bunch of walls and shit. But if we barricaded the fuck out of this place. And it's huge. It's huge. It's got infinite storage in the form of lockers everywhere. It's It's also got infinite storage in the space of infinite floor everywhere. Yeah. Like this, and we've got every book that we've ever wanted over in the library. Uh, this is, dude, this is this is a nice fucking spot. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I'm going to grab advanced first aid, um, cooking for beginners, cooking for intermediates, uh, first aid for intermediates. Um, is the herbalist the one herbal remedies remedies? Yeah, I could read that really quickly actually. Um, playing some dying light too, dude. How's it, how's it going? Um, I got tired of dying light one. Um, just because I got sick and tired of fucking fetch quests. Like that was. That was an issue for me in that game. Um, I I got bored of the like quest structure. I enjoyed the game itself. Like I enjoyed all the like normal mechanics. I enjoyed the parkour, but um, it was a thing. Wait, did I see master first aid? Holy shit! All right, first aid for intermediate advanced and then master first aid holy shit um and then cooking for beginners cooking for intermediates tailor tailoring for beginners tailoring for intermediates tailoring is how we build better armor for ourselves um 
You got fishing and farming up in this bitch. Um, I need more carpentry, though. That's the fucking carpentry for beginners. Carpentry for beginners. Carpentry for beginners. You know what? Carpentry for beginners. Jesus Christ. Carpentry for beginners. I would... Really love to see a carpentry book here that isn't. Do I have um, cooking for beginners, cooking for intermediates, and then I need advanced before master. Oh, of course, there's no car fucking <laughs> of all the books that are in here. We're going to have to go to the bookstore. Um I don't see like the the carpentry one. Oh, yep, carpentry for beginners again. All right. Well, no, I don't need beginners. I already have that. I need uh, carpentry for intermediates. Nights, right? Um, I, I I already have carpentry for beginners. Red. Yeah, I need intermediate. Well, it's born me not even a block away from the house, so that's convenient. Um, Taylor for intermediates. Um, you know what? I'll read that just right now. And that's that one done. First aid beginners again. Again. Fine. All right, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. But you know what? It's not that full of zombies at this point. I cleared it out. Um, what of it I, I had. Um, and I am bringing a shit ton of fucking books back. That will do some stuff for us, for sure. Alright. Yeah, and Lexi. Yeah, I got into a game of uh, Project Zomboid. Again, if anybody wants to actually play, we're running multiplayer. Um, by all means... You are welcome to join. Um, I need to get the planks out of here. Oh, God. Okay. Can I? I'm going to start a plank pile out back or out front or something. Plank pile in the front yard. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah. Drop them. We're just going <laughs> to just pile of planks in the front yard. If you've got them, that's where we're putting them. You'll see them. I just had a South Park bigger, longer, uncut flashback. <laughs> I was going to describe uh, your function so far, your your adopted function, Caleb. And then the first, yeah, yeah I was like, Caleb's our get behind uh, operation, get behind Darky. <laughs> 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 Caleb's just sacrificing character after character, putting no like XP grind on his characters, and just going out looting, fucking coming back, dumping stuff, and then just like charging into a, a like a, a body of fucking zombies like i'm taking you with me <laughs> that's literally been my job so far and i'm loving it i love this game 
Uh, let's see. Fucking. Where am I meant to be putting the food? Uh, if it's canned, uh, no, if, it. yeah, if it's canned, it's in the corner. If it's meat, it's in the freezer. If it's fresh or whatever, it goes in the refrigerator. Uh, yes, nice rain. I'm starting the tweaker collection in the front yard. <laughs> I, I I have to be a level three carpenter to be able to build a storage container because reasons. Um, I'm pretty sure I could build a fucking box with my eyes closed, despite a lifetime of experience building things. Um, you know, and so like, yeah, uh, can't build a storage container yet, but this is just our temporary hovel anyway, while we like try not to die for like multiple multitudes of hours. Should have seen the first two hours. It was a clusterfuck. <laughs> yeah, but it was a funny clusterfuck. Dude, if I was, I was starting to get irritated there with those fucking zombies just over and over and over. It was like, oh my God, can we just fucking not? Yeah, see, I, I was prepared for this. I'm a Path of Exile player. Uh, let's see. Um, I think I... Yeah, I already read that one. All right. Cool. So let's drop these over into the, the cabinet. We good? We good? Yes. All right. Also, the other thing I've done is I've taken a look on every character I've rolled so far so I get even more items. Hey, that's, yeah, solid fucking strategy. Um, okay, so let's see. He needs to eat. She needs to eat. Am I a sh Who am I? <laughs> don't, don't get me started. I randomize the character every time. I keep having an identity crisis. Uh, my name is Buddy Sayers. Um, I, I could have looked up there, dummy. Um, fucking, yeah. Uh, let's see. Did I, did I hold on to that? No, I didn't. All right, cool. Is there anything? Ah, yes, I put the I put the open can of chili in the fridge. There we go. Um, what is Peaky Blinders about, Lexi or Caleb? You've got that accent. Oh, for, <laughs> I don't know. I've not watched that stupid fucking show. <laughs> you sound like one of them. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I was about to say something, but you're live, and I can't. Um, all right, so I did the carpentry for beginners. I need a car if you see a carpentry for intermediates, that's definitely something we can take. Yeah, well, I was trying to bring one of those back, but I kind of got set on fire. So, uh, caboose. What does a cheeky Nando's mean? Nando's is a fucking uh, chicken joint in in the UK, and a cheeky Nando's is just sort of like um, a late night fucking after you've had a couple of drinks, you get into it, you get a cheeky Nando's food. You should. Yeah, Kai, Kai doesn't know what it's talking about. A cheeky Nando's can be any time of the day. And generally speaking, it's, it's when you're stoned as fuck. It, it, you, you're noticing the pattern here. It's food you shouldn't be eating. It's food you should not be eating. Fucking. <laughs> I want the Brits to answer in all caps. Cheeky Nando's is when you get really baked with your mates and you all decide you should be doing other stuff, but you're fucking off the Nando's for an hour. Can I not? I can't fucking. God damn it. Absolutely zero out of ten for this UI. <laughs> zero out of ten. This UI gets negative points out of ten. Um, Boardwalk Empire, but the 1910s, 20s. Uh, so it's basically, yeah, I know like an actual gang existed, but it's like super, like based on. Uh, say Cheeky Nando's in your accent, please. Cheeky Nando's. There you go. Why do I agree to come on the stream? People just abuse me for my accent. Dance, monkey, dance. Yeah, well, fuck you. Your people did it to, to enough other people's <laughs> payback. Oh, you bench. went there. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, trying to be all stream friendly and PG, and Kai just goes there. Oh, please. I already dropped an arsler a couple of times. I fucking called every single, like, female, um, female zombie. I was bashing the brains out. I'm like, die, you fucking cunt. Die, you twat. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joe, if I'm in politics and I'm streaming, fine. We can be politically correct to a certain extent or another. If we're playing a game, fuck off. 
<laughs> Look, I refuse. I will not be the reason you get banned from Twitch. It's, it's, I'm gonna behave. It's like hanging out with friends, right? Like, I'm sorry. Like, there's like, there's, there's like, you're at a meeting with your boss versus hanging out with your buddies at the bar. Right, those are not the same conversation, and if you can't separate the two, if you can't understand that people have those two different modes of conversation, then well, I don't know, you're a useless human being, and fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, I got no so problem. So by that you mean they're just a human being. <laughs> so we can stream Sea of Thieves now. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> God, I think I'd rather put my penis in a blender than play Sea of Thieves, Karina. It's, you just got to have the right crew. Dude, imagine a bunch of anarchists literally dressing up as cops in Sea of Thieves and pulling people over using the in-game audio, like literally putting sirens and fucking bad boys, bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? Pulling people over, boarding their ship, yelling, stop resisting as we start shooting them and looting their fucking ship and then burn it and sink it, right? Like that's a bunch of fucking anarchists role-playing as cops in a pirate simulator. You gotta have the right crew. And then we've gotta start singing pirate shanties when we're burning the boat down. Yeah. Yeah, alright, I'm sold. Yeah, dude, it's... You just gotta have the right crew. That's all. Blender penis sounds like a kink. Oh, I'm sure it is. Asset forfeiture! Yes. Yeah, we fucking straight up did some civil asset forfeiture on some random crew. Dude, they pulled over for us. They straight up pulled over in the open sea. Like I used, uh, I used the in-game. I used my mixer, and I I looped in bad boys on on the in-game and and a police siren, and we fucking pulled up next to these guys, and they fucking pulled over basically in the middle of the open ocean for us and let us let us board them, and they roll they role played with us. It was great. Uh. That reminds me of playing on 2B2T on Minecraft. But you can't stream that. <laughs> there is no way you can stream 2B2T. It's, it's an anarchy server. There are no rules. His name is Caleb's Revenge, or a Caleb. Alex. Hi. Whoop, whoop, is the sound of the police? Um, Knight pulled over. How does one pull over on the seven seas? Um, they raised their sails, and they dropped anchor. No, they didn't drop anchor, but they did raise sails. Uh, Alex said, motherfucker sounds like babes in his average lexicon. Nah, I'm a chav, I say fam a lot. There you go, Alex. I'm a goth that talks like a chav, deal with that. Uh, let's see, okay, so I'm going to take cooking for beginners here. Dude, I gotta protect this fucking character. We need to get some weapons up in this bitch. Fucking, like, proper weapons. Need to get some artillery in this bitch. <laughs> hey, cat. Yeah, cat, that's pretty accurate. Lexi said you sound like a gay bloke from Essex, mate. Pretty close. I am from Camden. I'm by so. Hey, so I mean, only, a, only a few miles out, really. Yeah. Close enough. Or like Noel Fielding. Those good people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's a compliment. Yeah, Noel's Noel's good people. I mean, there's there's a lot less cool people to be like in this world than Noel fucking Fielding. Um, <coughs> all right, that's some more entertaining people to be. Um, do I have okay? I have first aid level one, first aid for intermediates as well is what I want after that, and then there's master first aid, and then I have expert. I think I got expert first aid. Kind of want to figure out how to get a car going. Advanced. It's advanced. That's what it is. All right. So, oh, my my character's bored with just reading. Bitch. Fuck you. Um, K. 
canned spaghetti bolognese. I will open one of them. <laughs> sorry, cat. I'm sorry, cat. Just got back from an hour 30 drive to the vet. Brother's parakeet fractured a leg. Nothing serious, just a splint in calcium supplements for a week. <laughs> sorry. I'm just picturing it. <laughs> Wait, how did a parakeet break its leg? This Isn't is that my a fucking bird. Can't it fucking fly? This is this is this is the image I'm having, right? Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. so how does a fucking bird break its leg? I need a fucking explanation. I need it now. <laughs> They're not smart, says Karina. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see, what do I want? Um well, I know birds aren't smart. My grandmother had a bird, and it decided to swoop at the fucking pit bull. The pit bull ate it. <laughs> okay, so intermediates. Okay, so it doesn't look like that's how we do it. So it's not like we read the beginner book and then the intermediate book and then the ex like master book sort of thing. The the books for like intermediate is XP multiplier for level three to four. So the beginner book gives you an XP multiplier to your first aid learning on levels one to two. So it helps you speed run those. Okay, I see how it works. All right. Okay, fine. Can't do it that way, I guess. I get it. Yeah, I want that carpentry. All right, what do I got? First aid, cooking... Yeah, I ain't doing farming. <laughs> uh, I could use the foraging, though. How did the foraging work for you? Um, did you find anything? Did you do it? So the foraging is the little search icon, and you just randomly press it, and occasionally things pop up. Okay. <laughs> and that's about as much information as I have on that system right now. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm gonna get an XP game on uh, XP gain on foraging going then, because if I'm doing something in this game, I want it to fucking pay. Um, Cat said, "Yeah, not a fucking clue, lads. Like to be frank, no idea how the bird broke its fucking leg." <laughs> I'm gonna stick with Cat's answer. It's just birds aren't fucking smart. Oh. oh, I need to learn tailoring, too. That's a thing we need to get into is fucking tailoring. Because apparently that's how we build, like, outfits that aren't so easily torn through and bitten through and scratched through and shit. Because we can put, like, leather patches on our outfits and shit. Well, I think I'm going to go sacrifice another person's life to getting us some more stuff. Uh, just make sure you can bring it back. Um, if you happen to know where that fucking intermediate carpentry is... Because I'm going to need that shortly. Like, I'm almost past level two. So, if you if you happen to know where your, your, your zombified body is wandering around and you want to cave its skull in, by all means. I don't, I don't think you understand the chaos that life got into. No, I, I get it. There was like a horde of 50 burning zombies chasing me. I felt like I was playing Call of Duty again for a second. Um, and again, uh, if any of y'all motherfuckers, uh, have, have projects on board or want to get projects on board, don't worry. We're going to, I'm going to keep the session and we'll play it. We got, we got a good multiplayer session. Now there's at least a couple of us that know what the fuck we're doing. Um, Eskazan, uh, Caleb and myself, Buddhist, Buddhist was here earlier as well. Um, Buddhist didn't get a ton of, uh, experience going, but I think between Caleb, Esk, and myself, we kind of, we've got a base, we understand what we're doing. <laughs> we, 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 you think I understand what I'm doing? Hey, you're, 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 successful, you're successfully, you're successfully looting, right? You figured out meta on that. You're like, yeah, fuck these characters. These characters mean nothing to me. So fucking dude, Caleb's already figured out how to like a, a fucking loot strategy. So Yeah. Yeah, we're just running Operation Get Behind Darky. 
Caleb's Caleb's are a fucking sacrificial lamb, South Park style. I think I might have the highest body count right now. Let's say that for the least. How much you up to? <laughs> At least twelve. Nice. <laughs> Nice. I'm not sure there's anywhere I can actually check the actual number, but it's at least 12. Yeah, I don't know if you can. <clears throat> Hang on. Actually, you know what? I might be able to. Um, I can create factions. Oh, my God. All right. Mm. Do we need source pounds? No, nah, we're good. Um, where was that? Um, no, back. No, it wasn't there. I don't know where the fuck that was. <clears throat> oh, well. Um, read. There you go. <clears throat> okay, yeah, cat. Fucking dude. This game is fucking brutal, too. It's just absolutely brutal. But, yeah. Yeah, apparently we can create server factions as well. Let's see. What are we up to? All right. Um, is this over here? Yes, it is. Cool, cool. All right. I'm doing foraging, and then I need to do tailoring. And the mechanics, probably. Jesus Christ. Uh, you've been, you're just being a bitch about spending a dub. Probably going to get it, though. Yeah, Karina's going to grab it at next paycheck. I talked Karina down from, like, going low money, low account sort of situation. Fucking talked her out of that one. <clears throat> but, yeah, Karina's going to grab it. Uh, Buddhist has it. Um, Caleb has it now. Um, S has it. Uh, yeah. So there'll be a few people playing it. And if we could get like six, seven people, dude, we can fucking take one of these facilities and start building proper. And the map is huge. Like it, it is legitimately big. Like even if we commit like, um, zombie genocide in this town, there's other towns and cities. Like, there's urban centers and shit with just thousands and thousands of zombies. But I've got no respawn on because I don't think... I don't like how that works. No fucking respawn on zombies. Humans don't magic out of the sky in a zombie apocalypse. So we kill them, they stay dead. Oh, I actually found a toolbox. Cat, it really doesn't work that way. To use some of the weapons effectively, you have to have the XP levels in them, and you see the shit on the side of the screen, right? You have to actually sit down and read the fucking book. You have to grind out the XP. There's no way to fucking, like, shortcut it. Yeah. This game is brutal. <laughs> it really is, man. Just because you can drive a car doesn't mean you're going to be good at driving a car. You have to drive a car more to, like, get good at it and that sort of thing. Um, let's see. All right, first aid, tailoring. That's the one I wanted. Read it. Zombies were people. Non-binary. Were people. <clears throat> Once you become an undead, roving, brainless maniac who's trying to claw, scratch, and bite me to death, you ain't people anymore. You need to put be put down like a rabid dog. That's how that works. Tell me don't play. What we got here? Yeah. Move that that way, that, that way. All right. So foraging is up XP, tailoring is going now, first aid's going, cooking, cool. 
<clears throat> no, that's right. And thank you for the follow. Uh, non-binary, we did earlier. You were here for that, right? That's what you're referencing, right? <clears throat> yeah, I would have fucking shot that bitch. Not even. Watched a video with um, this chick just losing her fucking mind in the back of an Uber. <clears throat> choking out her driver. Fucking biting him on the neck like a crazy bitch. Like, really fucking biting, too, by the way. Um, and the entire time, the guy's got his hands up going, I didn't do anything. I didn't. Look, I'm not touching her. I'm not hurting her. I'm like, dude, this is this is the state of our society. This dude is literally being, like, choked to death and being, like, bitten near carotid artery territory and his only concern is that everybody understands he is not the aggressor i'm like i would have put a bullet in that bitch already <laughs> fucking homie like my only concern would be to cover that eardrum so i don't blow it out when i pop yeah, yeah we, i saw that video i'm not allowed to say the things i'd have done to her yeah like what are you fucking doing that's self-defense 101 territory Grab a knife and poke her in the fucking eye. Fucking, like, whatever. Do what you gotta do. This bitch is literally trying to choke him to death. Yeah, she's got him, like, arm locked around the fucking, like, to his head, uh, to his headrest. And she's fucking, like, literally, like, trying to choke him out. And at one point, she literally goes biting at, like, the side of his neck or near and where the carotid is. All right. And the whole time, hands up. I'm not, I didn't do it. Please. I just, uh, uh. it's like, dude, homie, just put her down. <laughs> like, that's it. And a bunch of bitches too. Holy shit. The people just filming and fucking trying to like talk her down and shit. Yeah. Right. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Yeah. It, it's just, it, that video just bothered me on multiple levels. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk, exactly, Caboose. You can't talk crazy now. You can't. Uh, that, that, she was clearly crazy. And, I mean, there were people here who were immediately like, well, maybe she's having a psychotic break, or maybe she's, you know, she's on drugs, and w was she a victim of the Sacklers? Meaning opioids. And it's like, I don't care. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. You try and choke me out from behind and, like, bite my neck and shit like that? Bitch, you're dead. <laughs> like, what are you fucking... I ain't gonna fuck around. I, that's that's how you end up dead yourself. <laughs> you got time for that? Yeah, she was, dude. She was, she was in the middle of something. Whatever it was, that was. She was in the middle of something for sure. Couldn't believe that shit though. Yeah, even a couple people on the channel when we're watching. She's straight, they straight up, they're like trying to find excuses for it and shit. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for somebody else to sort out, right? Like that's somebody else can figure out whether she's like, you know, like middle of a, a, a drug psychosis or whether she had a mental break from working COVID patients. Cause apparently she was a fucking nurse to boot. So like that's somebody else's job, right? Like, all I know is I'm going for a piece, I'm going for a knife, and I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure that, like, I don't end up bleeding out of my fucking carotid because some crazy bitch literally took a chunk out of my neck. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Um, <laughs> Bailey's, um, Bailey's, uh, Bailey's in Berg. Um, a video we watched earlier when we were over in politics streaming. Hi, my name's Kai. Normally I'm a politics streamer, but we're playing Project Zomboid. With Caleb's Revenge is on the air right now as well with me. Um, a few from the community were playing earlier. But yeah, it was a video of a woman who assaulted an Uber driver. Um, and she was trying to choke him out from behind. She tried to take a chunk out of his neck by biting him. It was, uh, it was a thing. It was a thing. Um, <clears throat> and right now we're just waiting on 
if, you know, we're waiting on a book to finish reading, being read. Just reading the uh, tailoring for beginners here. Um, but yeah, fucking Caleb somewhere out there. Oh, there he is. I don't see you. There we go. Um, but yeah, Caleb's fucking just done a loot run. I need to get. Yeah, up. this carriage is very not long for this world. So apologies, this stuff's just getting dumped on the floor. Oh, I hear them. Did you bring a bunch back with you? No, there's only the one, and I didn't bring it back with me. Okay. It just was here. Uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to go beat it to death in a second. Right. My last breath. <laughs> That's fair. Um. All right. I need to get this character fed and drank. Get some purple drank up in here. Um. Somebody's at a window. <laughs> this is this is how Caleb plays. <laughs> it's this so, is my life in the game. Caleb, Caleb, basically, um, I'm top ten Zomboid streamers right now. Fuck yeah. Um, Caleb basically just goes out, loots everything, comes back, dumps it on the floor, strips the clothes off, and just runs this injured character naked out into the field to like just take as many zom uh, zombies as he can with them. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, this area will become zombie free. Oh, I need to clean that body. Hold on, I need to fucking. Good luck. God bless. Um, I'm just trying to get it far enough away before it turns into a zombie at this point. Drop. Oh, well, I mean, if that's the case, come back here. I'll fucking, I'll just handle that. Oh, no, I'm going to beat some zombies to death on my way out. All right, fair enough. And there we go. All right, I'm pretty sure we've looted this house over here. Um, anyways, um, yeah, um, fucking, I, I, I have mixed feelings about this game. I so desperately want to love this game, and I do in certain ways, and in other ways, I despise this game. Um, all right, cool. Wait, I saw a cabinet. Okay, cool. It's clear. Um, <clears throat> bam. Oh, there's a whole crew of them up the block. Well, I'm going to be clearing out this little infestation for a while. Anything in here that I nah, I'm good. Why, why do I not have a weapon equipped? There we go. Um, Yeah, I've I've come across a couple of scenarios already that I as like a firearms owner and I as somebody who has at least some knowledge that would be semi useful in this sort of situation uh, have found absolutely infuriating as a as a concept. Um, I will take that as well. And then, you know what? While I'm here, did anybody hit this? Yep. All right, cool. Well, while I'm here, let's disassemble. Grind that carpentry a little bit. <clears throat> Also, also, there's just like 
details that drive me insane. Um, the fact that to do this disassembly, I have to have a saw in my inventory, but in fact, he hammers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also, oh God. what? Oh, this starting house is full of zombies. Oh, I hate that. Also, um, fucking loot this drops. The last <clears throat> hey, carpentry's up. Yeah, now I need that carpentry fucking intermediate book. Um, get some planks, get the tweaker pile expanded, get that in my main inventory. Assemble the table. I need one more level in carpentry and then I can start building a storage. Um, fuck it. Dude, the, the, the Canadian, the, the female Canadian uh, team just kicked the shit. Absolute, just pushed their shit in. Um, kick the shit out of the Russian hockey team. Um, and they did it wearing N90, uh, N95 masks the entire time. Just absolute baller fucking move on their part. Um, yeah, like six to one for a hockey match. Dude, that's, in, that's stupid. Yeah. The, the women's Canadian, uh, Olympic team beat the Russian women's Olympic team six to one wearing N95 masks the entire match. So like, it's just, as far as, uh, <clears throat> the issue of wearing a mask goes, you know, Um, all right. Bam. Yeah, death by mask, suffocation, no breathing, still going to whoop your ass, Canada. Dude, Kat, did you... I, I started the fucking stream talking about this. Um, the Olympics are hilarious this year. Honestly, they're, this is the only Olympics that I would say are worth watching. Because China is cheating so hard, it is hilarious. <laughs> we we watch some shit. <clears throat> Dude, they're they're absolutely out of their fucking minds how they're cheating. Um like literally just grabbing the knee of a Korean player and the judges disqualify the Korean player. Grabbing like lane markers and tossing them under people's uh skates. And you're like, well, that's clearly a DQ. Nope. Person who fell gets a DQ. Um, fucking, it is, it has been crazy as fuck watching like some of the outcomes of this, <coughs> this match. All right. Let's see. It looks like. <coughs> cool. We're good on that. But you know what? I bet that bed. Can I disassemble this bed? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, hopefully I spawn in that same house because I cleared out all of the zombies in it before I died. Dude, they fucking spawned me in the same house like three times. It's like RNG is not great on this. <clears throat> all right. That fit. That fits. Get some usable planks, get some usable nails. Maybe one of these days when I get my fucking carpentry up, we can start building storage containers in our new base. Well, <clears> one <throat> of these days I'll find an axe and then I'll make a character with axe skill and then I'll go and make lots of wood. Yeah, axe to knock them down, saw to plank them. Uh, I'm sure I've dumped like 15 saws at the house by now. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, and once, once we, um, once I get that third level carpentry, then I can start building like walls and like storage containers and shit like that. 
I might as well take pacifists for these characters because, oh no, pacifists is a bad idea. Yeah, that's fucking, nobody wants to be a pacifist in the, in the fucking apocalypse. Alright, looks like I am loaded up. Alright, I gotta head home. Slow healer, on the other hand, doesn't matter. This character's going to die. That's kind of the point. Yeah, dude, take a bunch of fucking, like, combat perks and shit like that. With, like, you know. Is my pipe my... There we go. Oh, it switches. Oh, and it doesn't auto switch back. That would explain why I've been having issues with that sort of shit. All right. Oh, yeah, Bailey's, of course. <clears throat> yeah. Dude. The video of the fucking uh, Chinese dude grabbing the Korean skater's knee and, like, yanking on it. And they disqualify the Korean skater for it. It's fucking epic. Yeah, one of the Chinese dudes grabs a lane marker and just puts it under the guy's skate, basically, and they fall. <laughs> nothing. Nothing for the Chinese player. Uh, the whole time they're starving their opposition. Like, it is literally a strategy, it seems, that China is collectively empl employing, too. They're, like, not feeding people. <laughs> Okay, my sneaking leveled. Um, yeah, I want to get that fucking um, uh, firehouse unlocked. Like, not unlocked, but like cl cleaned out so we can start doing fitness and strength training for our characters as well. Oh, forgot the tweaker pile in the front yard. Hang on. God damn it, I broke my pipe on this bitch's face. Alright. Um, plank. Drop him. This is another complaint. It does not take this long to drop a fucking plank. <laughs> Fucking okay, I think that the, the transfer time is based off of their weight, not like the logic behind dropping a plank. Right? Like, oh, the plank is heavy, so it takes a lot of time to put it on the ground. No. No, it doesn't. In fact, it would be the direct opposite logically. Yeah. The heavier it is, the quicker it hits the floor. I just fucking <laughs> just thump. Done. All right. There's that. I wonder how what the XP gain on that is. Oh, it's got a ways to go. It's not worth it. All right. All right. What did I grab? All right, wait. Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to spend some time cleaning up all this loot from the floor. <laughs> this is a fucking thing. All right. Well, I didn't have time to do anything with it last time. I was about to turn zombie. It's okay. Fuck it. We'll just have to sort it. What? What? Dude, this house is a complete throwaway, right? Like that's. I do not plan on you know keeping this fucking house. Uh, drop that. Oh, this character's fucked. F in the chat. Um, let's put the... Wait, nope. Marinara's canned. 
All right, what else we got? Oh, there's a gun. Where are we keeping the guns? They're over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's full. All right. There is legitimately one of the spawn houses it puts you in. There is no way of getting out of safely. I don't doubt that at all. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna put put the gun on the table. Let's see, place item. Can I not? Fuck it. It's going on the ground. We'll just go with the full tweaker house, right? There's <clears throat> there's piles of shit in the front yard. There's a gun randomly on the ground. There's fucking got piles of garbage. Fucking you know, just full on tweaker house. Fuck it. Um, all right. So that's the school. This might be the most fun I've ever had becoming the meat grinder in any game. Um, that's the 5-0. Uh, fire. Court. That was oh god, what was that? That's the fucking um mechanic. All right. Um. All right. Starting to starting to get this map filled out at least. It's funny because I'm effectively just using your map to know where we've already looted. Yeah. I mean, most of this shit over here is all fire damage. <laughs> we burned most of this shit to the ground. Uh, I think that was. We can build it. We can build back better. Yeah, that was Esk and I. Esk, Esk and I went into a house and we started cooking some food. And as, uh, I, I made a pot of soup. And Esk was like, "If Esk found a bowl of uncooked soup on the table, I was like." Uh, how do I cook it? I'm like, oh, you put it in and that sort of thing. And fucking, he left the soup in the oven, left the oven on, and we st like, I'm upstairs washing myself, and Esk is like, I think the house is on fire. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, I, I think there's like, I think it's on fire, and I'm like, fucking run out. I'm like, holy shit! I run downstairs and the walls are on fire, <laughs> and I fucking run out back. I'm like, how the fuck did you leave the oven on? He's like, yep. Fucking, yeah, you leave the oven on, you'll burn your fucking house to the ground. And not only will you burn your fucking house to the ground, you'll bur burn the whole fucking community to the ground. And then zombies will catch fire and wander and spread that fire elsewhere. And, That's my favorite part, by the way. And and this fucking game is so goddamn stupid that it model it, it fire just spreads across areas that it should not. Um, uh, we, I watched fire spread on concrete, concrete caught fire and then spread it. Like, I wish I was screen recording or something on the, not the last character, the one before that, because it was literally 50 burning zombies just chasing me around in a circle for a good two minutes. Uh, uh. All right. So I'm trying to put fucking... All right, so if I close that and I do that. All right, cool. Cool, that's how I get that back. Um, oh, fuck's sake, movement. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to feed oh. myself. I'm going to feed myself and then uh, fucking drink. I'm going to take a drink and feed myself and I say we call it. Well, I'm currently in character creation, so it's a good point to call it. All right, cool. Um, hey, Mavis, thanks for the follow, my man. Um, eat this can of beans. He's eating beans. Um, there we go. And feeling a little sad. Find a way to raise your mood. <laughs> Fucking smacking zombies in the skull. Do that. Um, all right. 
You know, we've effectively turned this entire game into League of Legends bot lane. You're the ADC and I'm the sport. All right, there's that. Um, now let's. I want to try something here. I'm gonna quit this game and test something because I I just you know yeah. I don't trust early access. I don't trust janky ass games. I don't trust fucking. Uh, let's let's see. Host. Okay, so. Start. I'm gonna launch. I'm gonna launch this game again and see see if it picks up right where it left off. <laughs> That's I I yeah. This game is janky AF. So fuck it. I'll toggle that off of that. Oh fucking a. It's a good time though. It's oh that was it's hilarious. In, the good fun. It's in, it's infuriating, fucking, it's janky, uh, but it's so detailed and it's so clever and it's so like, eh, I'm okay. I, I I took today basically off entirely, Alex, just from like um, working out. I just I couldn't. My body's in such a recovery mode. I was like, you know what? I need to just take a day. So we did uh, about an hour and a half of headlines, and then we switched over to Project Zomboid and. For a while, we had Buddhist, we had myself, we had uh, uh, Eskazan, we had uh, Caleb, um, and yeah. Oh, let's see. Hang on. Let's. Um. All right. Cool. It looks. Oh, sweet. Home sweet meth, dead. Yep. Uh, this stupid server box, though. There we go. Um, oh, you've got a bot in chat. Yeah. There we go. All right, quit. <clears throat> um, close, close. What's that? All right. Um, and this cam quit. Yes. There we go. All right. Now let me rearrange my fucking screens. <laughs> All right. What did you put in here, Karina? Um, That time, on account of your alibi, that being that you were at home playing your PlayStation 3. Now, forgive me, but if that's true, I just gotta ask. How could you have been playing your PS3 if the PS3 has no games? Why, Lieutenant? The PS... Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, what's in shared sources? Okay, that's fucking Cassidy. Cool. Um, all right. Well... Fucking, um, for those of you that came over from Endless, um, thanks for hanging out. For those of you that were, uh, already here from my stream over on the politics side, thanks for hanging out. Caleb, thanks for playing. Um, yeah, uh, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can't, um, we'll see if we can't get a regular game in. <laughs> throughout the week that sort of thing we'll see if we can't keep a keep a zomboid game going um but let's see let me close all this shit exit and close that i don't need that oh the bot updated yep all right um let's fucking you know what hang on i know what i'm gonna do um, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to raid outside of, uh, my sphere. Um, who's, who's streaming Zomboid right now? Um, let me give it to...
Oh, you know what? I see Spanish. We'll raid in somebody's... Yeah, we'll go that direction. <laughs> 